Hello everybody, welcome to session three of Star Road Now, part three, Ooh. Mad World. Last time on Star Road Now, Renegade got high on a train! What will happen this time on Star Road Now? <laughs> I'm glad I'm glad that the stupid descriptions it seems to be a theme. I saw someone else do it. Well, where, where, do we, it. where do we take it from there? No, no, it's great. It's, it's great. Perfect. Somewhere on the other side of town. A man sits in a hotel room. He sits at the window looking out at the oncoming rainstorm. After a moment, he stands up. All right, Eleanor. They're here. Let's give them a warm welcome. He picks up a cross necklace from the table, holding it in his hand, moving it around. The beads of the neck strap rolling over his fingers. Almighty Father, if thou art in heaven, give me your blessing to seek out the divine retribution upon the Joestar boy. Thine holy vengeance shall be enacted as I am but a humble vessel of your infinite wisdom. I shall right the wrongs that have been written in time. I shall incur the sinner's repent, for the hour is upon us, the hour in which we shine the brightest. He crosses his hands over his chest, snapping the cross around his neck and striking a pose. May God give me strength. Back at the train station in Wharf, the Speedwagon Express stops for a two-hour layover, uh, a place known for its eccentric boutiques and lively crowds. Uh, a good spot to check out the potential infiltration that has happened on board. Judging by the time difference after the crazy train incident, it is now nearly 1 p.m. and everyone's feeling hungry for lunch. It has started raining. The water streaks down across the windows and makes the atmosphere rather dreary and full of mist. It's a pleasant feeling, nonetheless, compared to the last few hours. Uh, um, first and foremost, <laughs> Jonah Joestar had just stabbed Renegade in the <laughs> shoulder with his Rose of Sharon and extracted the specific chemical causing her to become high. Renegade, you slowly feel reality start to set back into yourself, and you must have landed really weirdly when you were flung backwards because you feel now that your hip was dislocated and you didn't even realize it. Uh, oh. Your entire body starts to like sting and and feel really bad. <laughs> like all the color is sucked out of it. Hmm. There you go, Renegade. Well, at least we won't be arrested now. <clears throat> Are you all right, Renegade? Renegade, clasp it in your hand. There's there's something there. You don't remember grabbing anything, but there's something in your hand. What's in my hand? <laughs> Uh, you open it up and you see a purple pill with a star on it. Well, I don't know what this is for. What? Uh, where'd you get that from? No idea. It's yeah. nice to be back in reality, though. Everything hurts. Oh, God. Who's been letting me walk around with a dislocated hip? <laughs> uh, you. Okay, I was high. I don't have good judgment. I... I just uh, look over at Sebastian and just, like, shrug. <laughs> uh, okay, well, sounds like my cold is gone. Uh, Renegade, I I couldn't really do anything, because uh, if I tried to tell you what to do, you know what happens. Fair enough. <laughs> oh, well. Right. Well, now that we're here, I suppose we should get to work. Perhaps uh, well, we'll a food order first. Jonah. Is there a map that we can see anywhere? Uh, not presently, if you'll give me a second, though. Jonah, your cell phone rings. Mush, mush. <laughs> <laughs> uh, picking up on the other hand side of the cell phone, uh, you, you, you see the name tag. It is, um, uh, you know this man very well, in fact. Uh, well, uh, he, 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 he rings onto the phone. Jonah! Jonah Joestar! Ah, uh, yes. This is, uh, well, in, in fact, while your father was away in China, and after your mother's death, he's become almost a second father to you. He's helped fund the investigation, and was actually the individual to su suggest to hire Renegade Sebastian and Mercury. His name is Edwin Speedwagon. Oh, Speedwagon, how are you doing? Fine, I just got word that your train has been stopped. 
Are you feeling all right, Jonah? Is everything okay over there? Everything's okay now. There was a stand user on board, but they've been dealt with. Oh, of course. You do know the old saying, stand users attacked other stand users. And th through some sort of a bizarre connection between all of you, you could find yourselves in the same line of sight as one of them. Yes, it's already happened twice so far. I think that if your team has been pulled this far into the deal, you should tell them what's really going on. Tell them straight why you're investigating Dream Corps. If they've already encountered an enemy this dangerous, it's good that they know. That might be best. Anyway, how are you doing? Same old, same old. Day in, day out. I've been monitoring your progress and trying to find any information I possibly can, but this whole thing is muddled. Uh, I figured as much. Hey, on this train there was some dream, there's some dream tech. Could you find out where it's going? I could take a track. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You're asking where the dream tech is going? Like directly to Dream Corp. That I'm much I know. there, not to a warehouse. That's interesting, to say the least. Very much so. Have you been able to see what's inside of it yet? Have you investigated the situation yourselves? You could say that. Um, one moment. Uh, at this point, you hear, like, a voice calling in the background of the phone call, like, someone calling on. Um, uh, my daughter would like to speak to you as well, Jonah. Certainly. <laughs> Alright, you hear footsteps and someone runs over and grabs the phone real aggressively. <laughs> um, this woman, you know her as Mercedes Speedwagon. She was the first person to believe you that there was something fishy about your mother's death. She's also incredibly perceptive and comp competent, although she may not always seem that way. Nothing slips past her. Jonah! Hey, Mercedes. How are you doing? How are you doing? How's the train ride? It was interesting, to say the least. Are you, um... Are you doing alright? You found the shocking district? Anything, anything, um... Um... Mm -mm 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 -mm. We've been working really hard, so... Yeah, I don't Everything's know. Everything's alright, Mercedes. Thank you for asking. It's doing good? Alright. Yes. Uh, just, just, just let us know if you need any assistance. You could hear her snap in the background. <laughs> yes, certainly, Mercedes. Try not to give your father too much trouble, will you? I mean, I'm sure he's like alright. Right? What? What are you worried about? Oh, just... Your usual craziness. You're a good kid, Mercedes. Take it easy, alright? Shut up. <laughs> She's just like, I'm not a kid, but alright. <laughs> she hands it back to him. You always be a kid to me. Get over it. Freaking dork. <laughs> <laughs> have, have a good vacation, Jonah. Don't get mud on your suit. You know, I would never. <laughs> <laughs> she hands the fun back to Edward. She seems spirited today. Uh, she always is. Right, if everything's all right, I'll um, let you be on your way. Seriously, though, consider telling them what's going on. It's best to not keep secrets. I'll think about it. Good day to you. Good day to you. Hey, so I was saying, Begorji, I thought that... Uh... It would be a good idea, possibly, uh, you said your spam can go in other things, uh, why not make, like, little, uh, spy drones or, uh, such? Like, uh, little bugs or birds, even, uh, dog things they could be in, that would help you in combat, probably. And you could use them to spy. Ah, I'll see what, I'll, I'll see what I've brought along in my equipment. Yeah, Maybe I can figure something out. It's... Speaking of equipment, kind of like looks down at his shirt and kind of like, hey, Do you mind if we go by uh, the superstore nearby? I could use a little bit of a change of clothes. Sure, sure. Why would we do that? We can all grab a bite as well. Yes, I'm a little bit peckish. Uh, kind of like looks back up at the rain. Uh, I do not like rain. In every single book I've read uh, or... Uh, yeah, yeah. Show I've watched, something bad always happens when it's raining. It's, it's it's a known trope. That's why I always carry umbrellas. Yes, same here. It's just 
I don't. I do not trust it. Ugh. Yeah, sit yourself. Rain's good for me. Mercury's umbrella is way too big for one person. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Enigate, did you want to, to, you know, be under the umbrella with me, or were you going to practice your rain parkour? Uh, I'm going to practice. Um, oh, a minute. shit. Because is, is Renegade's hip still popped out of socket? Uh, yeah, you're going to have to heal yourself. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Renegade's just going to pop her hip back into socket. It's not too hard. Do I need to... I don't need to roll. No, I've... you don't need right. to roll. That is... weird. Yeah, that is... Are you alright? I'm okay. Out... Uh, all right. It's... everything's a little... ouch. I think that's because I got hit by a road sign. Yeah, that, that would... Wait, you got hit by the road sign? All I you, saw was you... You saw me get smacked! I saw you flying <laughs> through the air. I couldn't really see upside the uh, the train. I was kind of on the side a little. Yeah, I, there was a sign, and I got smacked. It's the same one that knocked up a, the, uh, that wrecked the gold tree. The Honestly. one that knocked him down uh, the side. It you know? was quite a devilish attack. Which, by the way, Mercury, thank you for the save back there. Oh, you're welcome. I expected that, that something like that would happen. Do I see any cars coming, right? No, this is a rather um, empty set side of this town. Is like a, this is like a kind of pedestrian area. <clears throat> yeah, pedestrian area, little access point, and this road you can see leads down uh, deeper into the city. It's about like a five minute walk to the shopping district from here. It's not far at all. Yeah. I like how we've all surrounded this man. <laughs> <laughs> this man looks around nervously underneath his umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> uh, John, if you're not going to do anything, uh, Sebastian, your cell phone rings at this point. Or not Sebastian, sorry, uh, but Golgi. Um, <laughs> Sebastian. Jeez, everyone's popular today. Bling, bling. Hey, hello. Begolji, hello. Don Paul Nareff. Alright. What's up? I uh, just got an information dump for you all. Uh, <clears throat> first and foremost, uh, we interrogated the night stroller good good uh, what'd you get from him his real name is mick jagger he says that he <laughs> bought the dream tech goggles at a store just like anyone else all his memories from there on were sort of tinted with a hint of insanity he seems to be in a rough spot probably in some street gangs but he swears he didn't mean us any harm and has been kind of apologizing profusely um something else though that's starting to bug me and i'm sure it's bugging you as well uh, he says he saw a stand along the way here. Said it was white, rather plain. Um, he's not the first one to say this. Uh, not the is this... Other. Is this the one that, uh, Renegade's been seeing? That she says she's... Out has, of character, she, she's been she has not said anything about it that okay. would be suspicious to you right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, if, if any of you see the white stand, any information we can get from her would be probably useful in solving what happened to uh, Jonah's mother. So. Ah, sure. I don't ask everybody to keep an eye out. Yeah, keep that on your radar. Um, oh, yeah. by the way, uh, we are heading down to a superstore. Would you like me to uh, pick up a pair of goggles mint condition? If you want to. Honestly, take a look at them. See, what they're, see what's going on with them. See if you can find anything out of the ordinary. Since he says he just got him at a normal old store, I think anything will do fine. Alright, sure, sure. I have a plan. Okay. Wait, why are you heading to a superstore, if you don't mind me asking? Aren't you on a train? Uh, well, we just got off the train. It's going to be a bit of a layover. Oh, really? What for? Yep, yeah, we're just heading down to the superstore, just get out of the brain. Okay, anything I should worry about? Oh yeah, we were actually attacked on the train. Motherfucker. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll tell you all about it when we uh, get to a better place. Sounds good. You're not in danger right now, though? Well, it doesn't appear so. Sounds good. Alright. But, as, uh, as I was saying earlier, rain seems to be where all the bad people hide. It's raining where you're at? That's weird. Forecast yeah, is supposed to be here. sunny today. Alright. Well, have a good show. Alright, talk to you later. 
Bye bye now. It, it was that, but got you. Oh, let's just go and check it in. Hey, how's she doing? So popular getting all the phone calls. Mm. I know, right? Do you want yeah, one? they got some information out of the Night Stalker. Oh? Yeah, I turns out, uh, yeah, no idea what was going on. Hey. And that the, uh, the goggles weren't modified or anything. He just got them from a normal superstore. Not the one we're heading to. And's oh. gonna walk away and stand outside of your huddle because he feels very uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> so that would mean that whatever is going on with these goggles might be something that Dream Corp has done in production of them and can turn on and off at will. Ah, everything seems to be leading back to him. Therefore... Anything else? Wait. Strange? Wait. Oh, yeah. Sebastian kind of holds up a finger. Wait. What if. What's up, Sebastian? What if it's not the Dream Tech goggles that are doing it, but someone's stand that is doing something? Sebastian, that's what we're trying to find out. That seems logical. Uh, come on, let's get to that store. I want to get out of this rain. Uh, one last thing I guess I should bring up to you all. Uh, he also said that he saw somebody else's stand. Oh. Yeah, I didn't quite get a good description from Don. Says it's kind of like some sort of a white amorphous thing. What? Don't just, quite know what it was doing. Just ring bells with renegade. I don't know. You want to roll a brains check for me, cat? <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> maybe maybe you would have been able to. Yes, it does. Oh, oh very damn. much so. You know exactly what he's talking about. Sounds very familiar. No, I don't know what the sand was doing, but it might have uh, some sort of. It might be the one manipulating the dream tech goggles. Eh, yeah, maybe. maybe. Renegade that... looks back to the pill in her hand. <laughs> they thought maybe they were trying to help? I don't know. Ah, I guess this is as good as mine. We, we'll figure it oh. out as time goes on. Uh, Jonah just reaches in his pocket and gets another uh, caffeine pill and pops it. <laughs> nice, you're but, caffeinated. But, uh, while we're walking, I guess I'll make a phone call myself. Hey, Mercury! Yes. You, you might be a little uncomfortable for a moment, so stick back. Mercury <laughs> gets the idea. <laughs> As they begin to walk, Sebastian's got his phone out and he's like, Alright, let's see if he's in. <laughs> you gonna try and call Papa Pep? He's gonna try to call Papa Pep! This my activates word, my just... secret action. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> if at any point any of the players should attempt to phone call Papa Pep, their phone will violently explode because of the rainwater getting inside of it. Specifically <laughs> Papa Pep. Specifically Papa Pep. <laughs> huh. Your phone explodes in a shatter of sparks, Sebastian. Okay, that is weird. Uh, okay, how the hell? Alright, that's fine. Puts the... Freaking fancy dream tech phone away. This whole time I've got like my briefcase over my head trying to protect my headphones. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just having my umbrella. Just don't Are say anything else. Wait, later. you have an umbrella too? Okay. Yeah. Technically it's my umbrella. How many people have umbrellas? <laughs> I do. I do not. My cane no. is an umbrella. Okay. So the <laughs> only the one forecast. without it is uh, the, the forecast was meant to be sunny. It was. These two. <laughs> it's supposed to be sunny, yet yeah, here it is raining. Yeah, I have three umbrellas. <laughs> also, have any rest of you noticed this distinct lack of cars coming through? Yeah, I figured it was just a slow it's day. Just an it's just street. It's, 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 it's like a dead-end lot. There, there wouldn't be three-way here. That, and also, Jonah, it looks like this is kind of like a service road. It leads straight to the train station, and there's currently a train in layover. Alright, it's supposed to be sunny, this rain is suspicious. As well yes. as... Oh, it's good. suspicious that the weather forecast was off? <laughs> I mean, I don't, much, <laughs> I don't put much stock in a... Uh, what are they called again? Uh, Meteorologist. <laughs> yes, then. Pulls out the freaking burner phone. Just like, alright, let's try calling the workplace. Freaking garbage phone. Why is everyone? Call? Why is everyone calling and getting calls? I'm trying to. Make I was about order. to make a call. <laughs> I, I swear, I'm the only one that's not getting any phone calls. I'm I'm glad for it. 
dream looms in the distance. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna use his backup Mokia phone to call Pop Up Pap's pizza parlor. Uh, the, specifically the pizza parlor again? The pizza parlor. Okay, um, uh, yeah, uh, a person on the other end picks up. Hello, Papa Pep's Pizza Place. What can I get you? It's, hey, it's Papa Pep in. Um, I can check why he was calling. It, Dylan Sebastian's calling. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> you can hear him move around and, like, yell something. Hey, Papa Pep! <laughs> <laughs> God. <laughs> just pulls the phone away from his ear a little bit. It's like, oh, God, I, I, I yeah, should, should be realize. Coming. Thank you. Come on, guys, let's walk and get to this place quickly. Sebastian, yeah. my friend, my amigo, is that a you? It is me, Papa Pep. How are you doing? Lovely. Are you making an order on the go, my friend? Uh, yes, I have a question as well, actually. About what, uh... If, uh, if I were to get an order, say, for delivery out where we are, could you possibly take something for me to my sister? I mean, we could have a two delivery cars. One of them might get a little cold. You're already all the way out in Wharf, correct? Uh, yes, we're out there. We're heading to the Superstore nearby. I can, uh, get, a, get an order out there for you, then. Yeah, thank you, Papa. I don't mind if it's a little cold. It's okay. What is your order? Uh, let's see. You know what? Surprise me. Very well. <laughs> Papa Pep is great at surprises. <laughs> Question. Yes. How, how long did the train ride take? Oh, roughly 30 minutes minus dream fuckery. Alright, yeah. so... 30 minutes by train. And he's going to get a delivery out here. <laughs> yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't question it. <laughs> just just pop a pep and truck on. <laughs> just he did pop. seem to teleport earlier, so... Yes, uh, thank you, pop a pep. I'll see you soon. Ravioli on, <laughs> my friend. Ravioli on. <laughs> Hey, Sebastian! Seriously, ordering a pizza right now? Uh, it's more so to get something to my sister quickly. So I, you know, pay for a meal. Snap cut to Grace, who had already eaten lunch. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna get another gets a, pizza. Gets a pizza? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I suppose I you might on. be Oh my god. <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> oh my god. I'm fully expecting to get a call from Jordan. <laughs> At this point, I'm going to. This is stupid. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. You called Dawn up. Um, hello, uh, Dawn Paul The I'm goal she you. mentioned. Oh fuck. Alright, hi. Hi. Right, right, right. Do it. <laughs> the goal she mentioned. Uh, it's the white stand yeah. that the Night Stroller saw. <clears throat> Very much so. You have any information Plain about it? Plain, feminine form. Uh-huh. We are not alone. Okay. That's what, that, that's what he said. I'm assuming... Okay. I'm gonna make a leap of faith here. I'm going to assume there are multiple of them, so they're all just kind of one collective called Not Alone. Question. Yeah? Um, do you want me to patch this into everyone? This feels like a group conversation. <clears throat> unless yeah, you don't- unless you phone. specifically don't want to do that, Get. I mean, no, there's no, no, no. this person. That person? Yeah. There's what about a person them? right there. They are right there. So. Do you want them to move? <laughs> well, I mean, if we're trying to be private. Ah, uh, just gonna move on. Yeah, we'll just... just, just That's the best. That's... I know. <laughs> um, I guess Dawn's coming along with you in phone version. Here we go! In <laughs> phone, phone form! <laughs> we, we can all, like, find the seats on the staircase right here. Yeah. Mercury... Keep... Mercury stays standing. Just, kind of, like, slothing off of everything. Sebastian's kind of standing as well, keeping his umbrella over people. Just, uh... 
Okay, so, n not alone. Yes, what about them? Um... Visit me twice now. T t twice? Twice? Have you twice. put on Dream Tech goggles? Have you done drugs? No. Did either no. of those things? Not recently, no. sorry. <laughs> uh, recently. In that case, you would kind of hide. Huh. She did make me hide, that is true. Not alone. Maybe it's hide. not what I think it was. Um, but when I w became not high, I, w I have this, like, purple. It's purple, right? I'm just trying to remember the color. Mm. The pill that Renegade. Yeah, it's purple. Sorry. Okay. <clears throat> it's purple with a star, and I don't um, know what it does. Have you ever. Okay, yeah, sorry. Have you ever taken Dream before? It's just a standard question. Don't feel bad if you have. What? Yeah. 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 Okay, and then you don't recognize that pill at all? That sounds like no? a dream pill to me. I mean, probably. It's been a while. <laughs> I swear they do change them over time. You say purple with a star on it, I guess. Okay. Yeah, that's a dream pill. You know, that's kind of funny. <laughs> kind of makes you think about, you know, the purple star on your neck. No, oh, that kind of stands on your branding a bit, Jojo. <laughs> Seems so, which annoys me even more. <laughs> However, I suppose it's time I told you why we're investigating Dream Corp, isn't it? Mm. So, several years ago, my mother mysteriously died. She was in good health. An athletic woman, actually. They say she died of a heart attack. But, she had several of those pills in her pocket. But, that doesn't seem to be what killed her. In my opinion, there was an enemy stand. And Evan seems to lead <laughs> back to Dream Corp. So, they're up to something. Especially if a stand's handing people uh, dream pills. That just kind of confirms my suspicions. I it's more than enough motivation for me to do some poking around. Hmm. But you should know. Have any why of we're you, here. have any of you, any others of you taken dream before? Uh, Golgi is strictly against it for reasons. Okay. I tend to stay away from drugs. Impedes my work. Right. I test the things. I avoid them as much as I can. I'm the only druggie in this group. Oh, you would have heard of No surprise. <laughs> I'm <laughs> sure we're all shocked. No oh, judgment, Lauren, okay? It's alright. Teach their <laughs> own. Sebastian just kind of clicked the sign. He's like, I'd rather not say. You should say. It's imperative to the mission. I'm pretty sure that saying I'd rather not say to a question like that <laughs> implies the answer. Very you much so. Normally... If you hadn't done them, you would have just said you hadn't done them. You would think. That explains where to get gets them. You mean but, hey. uh, They were forced on me once. I didn't like it. But Renegade saved me from that. That's weird. Okay. Gang what members I... wanted to see if I would OD. See what the effects would be. I don't think you can OD on Dream, so... They wanted to see... <sighs> you remember that, don't you, Renegade? You broke so many noses and faces that day. That's what I do on a daily basis. Mm, serves them right. We should get to that shopping thing. How long do you guys have till the train starts moving again? We're considering yeah. two hours. the dangerous stands have attacked us so far. Well, this place is one in relation. It would be safe to assume that there is something going on to begin with, as well as things are only going to get more dangerous from here on out. If any of you want to back out, I wouldn't blame you. But I'd ask you to help what happened to my mother happening to anyone else. If the Night Stroller has seen this stand, the same stand also went to Renegade, and now Renegade has this Hill of Dream, it should be safe to assume that anyone who is against us may have seen this... What did you call her, Renegade? Not alone. Not alone. So... Jonah, next time we burst one of them, see if you can't extract more of these dream pills. 
Maybe that would make them stop. That's... That's not a bad idea. Here, let me see that pill, Renegade. I'll hand him the pill. <laughs> I'm going to jab a rose into the side of the pill. Okay. Try to extract... <laughs> Possibly, I don't, like, see if I can wreck it. Oh, if, like, there's yes, a sir. liquid inside of it, or what are you trying to extract from it? Well, yes, since there is a liquid inside of it, to try to extract that, and then try to remember what that was, so that I can try to see if this is present in the next enemy stand. Hey, can you, roll a, can you roll a d6? If it's above a 3, I'll say that this is a type of drug that's, like, gushers. You <laughs> can also probably spend, like, a bizarre point. To <laughs> I'll just wow. give it to you, it's a gusher-type drug, fuck it. <laughs> They're candy. And also drugs. <laughs> it's like a drug. It's like... <laughs> it's like, it's like a candy, like a gusher. It's too yeah, tight. So I can trap yeah, this. So, okay, you extract out the center and you want to have your stand analyze it? Yes. Uh, let's see here. Let's roll... Um, Okay, this isn't technically how it's supposed to work, but why don't you roll learning? Oh. Alright. I'm going to break the rules because I'm interested. <laughs> Damn. While, while he's doing this, Sebastian's just like, eh, so it's like, uh, it's like Madville Liquid Gels. <laughs> Madville Liquid Gels, yeah, that's, that's a good way to put it. I'll make you Stark Raven mad, though. Is that your learning, Jonah? Yes, I am 1d6. Um, you have no fucking idea. You're not a food scientist. I'm not quite sure of its composition, but... You're not a pharmacist. Well, that, that's okay though. What I wanted to do was just remember what it, how it was composed, and compare it to later. Oh, like to see if it's any different from like the previous iteration. Well, boys, so I'm going to try to extract. Next time we find enemy stand, I'm going to try to extract this from it. Oh, 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 yeah, though no, you can totally do that if you try. If you you are now aware of this substance, if you want to try and extract this from the enemy stand or the enemy. You very well can. That's what I wanted. That is a success. However, you don't learn anything more because of that grand roll. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so I have a learning disability. Yes, he does. Yeah. I forgot. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Hey, Don, do you have uh, equipment back at the, the station I can borrow later? That is so vague. For what? It's really vague. It, sorry. Uh, uh, <clears throat> kind of like shakes his head. Uh, bad memories. Uh. I inject a liquid back into the pill, by the way. Okay. Do you have anything that could allow me to analyze it, the drug and all that? See if anything's changed since the last time I've had to deal with it? I mean, we could send it out to the, um... Send it out to get, um... Get, like, a substance ass um, assessment done on it. That would be a good idea, I think. Yeah, totally. Um, get the forensics department on that, I guess. Uh... You'd have to bring it back to us. Quick idea. You don't mind. Maybe we can send it off to the uh, Speedwagon Foundation. That'd probably be best. You've got some good connections with them, right, Jonah? Yes, uh, Edwin. I've had. Hmm, I've known him for quite a while. In fact, hold on a moment. Um. I take the pill with me. And. Oh, okay, bye, John. Uh, <laughs> Thank I, think, you. I said I take the pill with me. I know, but you paused at a really <laughs> funny point. Alright, <laughs> uh, should we? I'm gonna call Edwin. Okay, uh, let's pull out an Edwin. Um, so many phone calls. Yep, this is a real fun time. Uh, <laughs> you call back up Edwin. He picks up Jonah again. How's it going, Edwin? More information. Uh, I, I need a substance analyzed. Do you have any locations out here? What? We have people yeah. all over the city, Jonah. We'll get you right on that. What do you need analyzed? Uh, it's a substance found in this pill, in the cream pill. Right. Something, there might be something suspicious about it, and I'd like to find out what. Very much so. Okay. <laughs> he says, uh, where are you currently? You got a tracker? Can I use your phone tracker? Is that... That's a, that's a Certainly, Edwin. Yeah. All right. I'll send some. I'll send some representatives over immediately. I'll have that picked up, and we'll get the results back to you by the end of the day. Sound good? Thank you. As always, I owe you one. Very much so, Mister Joe Star. Speedwagon. <laughs> Furiously hangs up the phone as you hear fo footsteps in the background again. 
So the Speedwagon Foundation has operatives in this area. They can analyze the pill for us, and there's nobody in there today. What the hell's going on? Yeah. Great. Right. Should we stick around, or should we continue moving on? Yeah, um, let's keep going. I suppose that's... Well, I did tell them that we were here. Uh, the drop-off station specifically said he was going to uh, come in on your phone's tracking device, so he'll know exactly where you are. Well, he can track my phone, so he'll know exactly where I am and where we go, so we can head along. Don, you're... Thank you. Uh, I'll keep you updated if I get anything else on her. Okay. Stay safe, everybody. <laughs> I almost fell off a train. <laughs> <laughs> Out of all the scene transitions. Oh my god. Okay. Um, you keep walking along for about five-ish minutes, and you start getting into a little bit more of a populated area. Everybody outside seems to have umbrellas these days. They're all walking about doing their daily business, but this rainstorm seems to have caught in... Actually, nobody off guard. Yeah. Looks like we weren't the only ones prepared. I uh, speak for yourself. Eh, yeah, you travel with us, Begotti. You're partially prepared. See, I'm sharing my umbrella with you. Well, yeah, it's, uh, it's the effort that matters. Yes. Are there cars going around this roundabout? Or no. Occasionally. Let's see. I think it's uh, this way. I'm going, uh, I'm going for pure secret action. Okay. One second. Sebastian, you know which way to go, right? I think it's. Uh, pulls out his phone and checks. I think it's this way. Let's see here. Oh, right. Uh, someone else have a phone. This one's kind of an old uh, brick. Oh, oh yeah. that's the one. Excuse me, sir. Yes, and he turns over. No direction to head for the supermarket. Down that way, he says, pointing across the street. And you take, uh, uh, right across this sidewalk. Take, uh, you, take man. a left, and continue on towards the town square, then you'll take another left. Alright, thank you very much. There do you. Fashion looks both ways before crossing the street. Uh, which way did he say to go, Jonah? On this way? Aye. Went to the left. Uh, you get to a little bit of a docks area here. Seems to be shipping setups. Piers. Are there actually st are there actually street lamps over the water? That is. There's actually yeah, lamps over the water. That's a thing. That is. Huh. Really? Neat. Yes. I I've yeah. never known that. That's cool. Yeah. What's cool about that? <laughs> it's completely normal. <laughs> I. Keep it's the docks unexpected. Lit. Keep the docks lit. That's fair. Yeah. Um, let's see here. So, does anyone have any plans for what they're going to be getting? Uh, ah, Ruben, if they have any. <laughs> I guess that's I'll some, bad. I'll probably have the pharmacy for some more caffeine pills. You don't know you could just get like a thermos of coffee, right? See, caffeine pills are more convenient. But... Uh. Yeah, Jordan doesn't like wasting time. It's fair. A reliance on caffeine. It is fair. It... Ahead of you, you see the town square, a walking area. Uh, pedestrian traffic is the only through traffic allowed. Uh, vehicle passing by has actually been blocked off by a little bit of a concrete block, and the rest is a pedestrian-only zone. Okay, do we see any roadmaps anywhere? No, not at all. You have cell devices. You really want one. Okay. I know one thing, I'm gonna have to get a new phone while we're here. These bricks, while amazing and, you know, not easily broken, not really the best for, uh, you know, internet. Sebastian, if you uh, would like, I could reimburse you for your phone. It's fine. It was probably from the rain. 
Later I'm cursed. Probably cursed after what happened in the dream. <laughs> yeah, well, there's a lot of people out here. Yeah, everybody watch their backs. Yes. Uh, Seems to be that this is a real busy time, or a really busy place around lunchtime. There's like a dine, or, or like an outside cafe, a little shopping mall, like a little bit of a hotel. Um, this place is very much a commons area, but everyone, you know, of course, sitting out in the rain, with their umbrellas. All right. How does everyone look? Not us, but the other people. Do they look like they're cognitive, or they're kind of like? Yeah, they, they look like people. <laughs> Okay! Just a little worried. Alright, let's find some sort of populated place to go eat at. More people, less likely that uh, stand users will reveal themselves and try to attack. Eh, we can hope. I mean, unless they're batshit insane. Oh, dear. <laughs> let's hope that we don't run into one that doesn't care about... Well, cares about collateral damage. Yes, let's hope that they try to keep that to a minimum. If at all non-existent. Like, come on, Night Stroller. What was the other one? Dreamweaver? Dreamweaver. Yeah. They all seem suited to take down people one by one. Yes, but also, they kind of came at uh, you and then us at the... Kind of uh, made a big show of it. What's next? Are we going to be attacked here by something called Roundabout? <laughs> I swear. <laughs> Oh god dang it. You know what? You know, I this is a mad world, Jonah, so I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> this, this, uh. Uh, but you know what? At least I'm not surrounded by familiar faces. Not faces? <laughs> Alright now. <laughs> These buildings look so worn out. Yes, uh, which way This place looks very well. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Why are you all using such strange fr uh, phrases? It's a running <laughs> joke where we're referencing songs. Yes, it's a song reference, Mercury. Uh, I'll have to show you some of my favorite musical things later. Uh, oh, I see. I have a, uh, actually I actually have uh, an old gramophone if you would like to see it whenever we get back. Also. Oh, have any of you noticed how stand names usually tend to relate to song? Well, I mean, I like, kind of... I don't guess what you're talking about. <laughs> what, have... one, could, one could say that the power of a stand relates to the power of music. Eh, I kind of figured it was to our fighting spirit. Yes. What does right. mean that mine being don't stop me now means that I won't stop fighting? Eh, uh, well, fighting spirit is a, you know, subjective thing. Okay, so, so so immediately on your left is uh, a clothing shop. Uh, across the street is an open air cafe. Um, even further across the street, directly across, is uh, looks like some factory building stuff. It's real hard to see in the, the rain. The mist and has gotten a little bit denser. So, uh, how's the d does the open cafe have a roof over it? Uh, yes. You know how they work. There's seating on the on Brellas. the street, and then there's. Like, like those big yeah. tent things. Yep, all umbrellas over the uh, over the dining tables. Yeah. Okay. What is this? Uh, I need a stinking clothing store. Uh, yeah, it's, it's literally it's right, right there. Right there. Right there. It's like a mighty place right over there. Sebastian. What? Did you walk right by it and not even see it? Yes, a little bit. Uh, yeah, no worries. Renegade. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, where is this? The air shifts. You feel something is wrong. Something is off. You hear a sound like a... <coughs> then the sound of rain and distant thunder. And something hard and fast impacts your back, sending a splatter of blood across the floor. Hmm. Renegade? Boy, what in the hell was that? <laughs> You've been shot. Fuck. <laughs> Ow. You take seven okay. damage. As blood Ooh. starts to pour from the wound. Okay. Um. Everybody inside. Renegade. I. Wait, from which direction was I shot? You can't Boy, really you tell. <laughs> cool. Okay, I'm just gonna let's. Come on. Inside. Come on. Inside. I look around. Mm. 
Some people are staring a little bit concerned, looking underneath their umbrellas. No one's screaming? No. Well, they wouldn't hear the gunshot if it's stand related. This is true. This is... But I'm again, how are you feeling? That's a good clue. That's a real good point. Yeah. It means gun. that it wasn't a normal gun. Yeah. You step inside, um, the blood sort of trailing. Can I heal myself? Okay, yeah, sir. Sure. This person around the corner just kind of looks over you. That's a pretty bad looking wound there. Yeah. You alright? Yeah, I'm okay. Mm. Hey, yeah. we should really see. We should really try to find a pharmacy for that. Yeah. yeah. Renegade just like smacks herself in the chest and she kills herself. Like, okay. <laughs> While I'm outside, like, um, I kind of just kind of look around a bit before walking inside. Mm. So, wait. Oh, I don't think just looking around will find them. Well, yes, but also. Yeah, be hiding somewhere. Did a bullet not come out of you at that? Sebastian, like, was watching as she healed. Did a bullet get dislodged when she. Oh, very much so. Herself? Very much so. Real ass bullet. Okay. It's a bullet. Okay, good. He's gonna pick it up and just be like, alright. Uh, Jonah, come over here and take a look at this. Alright. Is there any. Sort of, uh, the, the markings on it, the emblems, anything. No, but, uh, how are you with bullet types? Probably real bad. Uh... Pretty bad. Who, I think Mercury would be the best one for that, but yeah, I don't know I was, if any I was of you would say, know. Would I... <laughs> like, However, yeah. I, I walk over. Mercury, it's, gonna... it's clearly a sniper round, just from glance. I, I, I kind of look... Oh, actually, I'm gonna stay over here and just kind of look around Jonah. That's a sniper bullet. Oh, great. Everybody outside seems so calm. Did they not even hear it? Yeah. I didn't hear it. Wait, was there no gunshot? None of you heard a gunshot. Okay. I didn't hear anything. Maybe they shot... It? No? Hmm. You heard was, thunder. All I heard was... What about the same time? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Piecing together, they probably used thunder to cover over the noise of the gunshot. If Davy conventions hold up. Could this possibly be shot in the dark? No. If anything, a roaring thunder pockets the bullet, takes off the freaking glove that was on the hands, puts on a new set of gloves. <laughs> Thank you, Marketing, for that. Renegade, another. You're... Tick, 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 tick. The window shatters apart and another bullet slams into your side. Okay. Was there, was there another. Uh, Take 15 thunder. damage. Was another roll of thunder. Oh! There was another roll of thunder, yes. I think I'm starting to piece everything together. Did nobody else Everybody away from the windows. Yeah, this person kind of jumps back. This person jumps back. Oh, okay. Everyone, get down. Stay away from windows. Stay out of sight. I'm, I'm going to, like, try to get behind. I'm going to duck behind this clothing rack right here. <laughs> I, think, I, think your, I think your idea of it being rolling thunder was accurate. Yes. Could it Did be? Did nobody else hear the clicks? I... What clicks? Mm. The, the, I heard click, 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 click. That's just Renegade hearing this. This woman over here looks over. Oh, so you haven't figured it out yet, have you? Wait, what? Ow. Oh, wait, I, I stand up. Almost like divine I'm... retribution is seeking itself out on you. What? Bullets from the heavens. That's exactly how you're supposed to be. A divine Everyone get smite. Away. I... She I, chuckles, uh, I look around. and she just kind of melts and splatters all across the floor. <sighs> Don't like these. Uh, whoever the stand user is, he's affecting more than just the weather. I look around at all of the people. A roll of thunder! Cat, like, another bullet coming through the other ow. window here! <laughs> slamming it to your side! I hate this! Oh fuck! 16 damage! I'm... yeah. Okay, can everyone roll right, initiative? Main house. On the thing. Yeah. Fuck. Okay. Are the people in the store actually holding umbrellas? Yes, everyone in the store is holding an umbrella. You didn't notice it earlier, but they definitely are. <laughs> I, uh, Renegade, did you hear or notice anything before you got hit? Clicks. I heard click click. And right, the rest of us didn't hear the clicking, right? Uh, no, not at all. You aren't paying the attention. Stand. 
this power. Oh no. <laughs> Could it be that only the target of it hears the clicking? And the rolling thunder ensues before, right before the shot comes? I'm not going to give it to you, but yes, the rolling thunder comes before the shot. However, that is not, um... It's not correct entirely. Everyone, if you hear thunder, hit the deck immediately. Mm, this lady around the corner just peers her head through the coat racks. Hearing thunder, you say? Mm, do you fear God? I take my chances. I don't think you know who you're up against. I'm up against someone who seems to think that they... I'm not sure exactly, nor do I particularly care. Right now all I care about is that my friends are being threatened. Mm. Mr. Jonah Joestar? She says, point, hey. pay, poking her face through. My name is Pastor Paul McKenzie. I say this not out of pleasantries, but... Well, because if I didn't, you may not live to hear it. Wish I could stay to meet you, but I honestly can't. May God have mercy on your soul. May God have mercy on yours when I find you. I'm drawing my cane sword. Okay, cool. For the first time, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to, uh, can I attempt to drag Renegade um, behind the shelf here, not away from the uh, windows? Yeah. Yeah, certainly. By the way, uh, from like the angle at this at, can we tell that wherever the shots coming from are at ground level? You can tell that they're coming through the windows, so that's good enough to tell that they are. They can only they they can't just like shoot you from anywhere, but. Okay. Renegade, are you alright? Can you patch yourself up? Hold on. Alright. I have a growing suspicion. Uh, uh, he's gonna lean over to uh, Jonah and Renegade. And he's gonna shove his umbrella, which he still had open, into Renegade's hand. Keep this above your head. Don't want you getting wet now. What are you getting at, Sebastian? I'm just testing out the theory. Very well. And let's see, this person talked to Jonah? Yep. You know, I don't know you. You don't know me. But I don't really like it when somebody hurts my friends. So, uh, I kindly ask that you stop that. Mm. You can ask all you want. You can plead for repentance. But it is not my choice to make. It is his. Uh, for taking the life of an innocent, I believe that's well over a thousand Hail Marys. Uh, Mercury, may I borrow one of your umbrellas, please? I innocent hand him is one. the last word I'd use to describe this man. Yeah. Once Mercury hands Sebastian uh, one of his other umbrellas, Sebastian is going to use his secondary action to walk out and open the umbrella. Open the umbrella, okay. Oi, Sebastian, what do you think you're doing? Just in a theory. I think I know what he's getting at. Let's just say I'm about to start singing in the rain. <laughs> That's where I'm going to end it. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. I know what kind of weapon we're being shot at with. Sebastian, the moment you step out, you hear tick, 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 tick. That's what I thought. And you are uh, impacted in the chest by a bullet. Oh, crap. You take 12 damage. Sebastian! Uh, this, this person here in front of you looks in. I see you're trying to figure out the ability of my stand. I wouldn't do that if I were you. One wrong move, and you'll be up there. I mean, the hey, Mercury. Hmm? I just, I just thought of something. This guy's playing like the whole image of like some sort of preacher, right? Yeah. Well, don't you say he's the type to uh, be preaching down to us? Mm hmm. 
Hmm. If you get what I'm going for. I slightly point up. I say, are you doing... Are you meaning what I think you're meaning? Hi, I think you caught my drift. I'm going to... Set a secret action. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, I have an umbrella in my hand. I'm gonna move here. Mm. Three, three. Um, and I'm gonna heal myself. Are you approaching the window by chance? I'm trying to stay out of the line of sight of the window. Sounds good. Okay, you heal five. Uh, that does put you back into normal HP. Yeah, but there's a lot of blood coming out of you from both a wound on your calf and a wound on your left, uh, left, left pectoral. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do a monologue action to try to drop his bizarre field. Sweet, okay. Uh, it seems like hiding, it seems like hiding in such a populated area is not going to help so much. Uh, I thought these people looked a little bit off. Part of his stand power must be placing around fake people. Kind of look like props almost. I will lower his bizarre field by one. I will tell you that the nature of what they are, uh, I'll give you a little more information, because you're correct. Um, his stand doesn't specifically create fake people. More so, it can create these... I don't really know how to word this in a way that's helpful. Um, they they, they kind of look like extras. They certainly do look like, like extras. This was like a movie set. If you, if you look around at them, they're all pretty similar looking. All real dour and sappy, and they all have their umbrellas. But yes, I will lower his bizarre field by one, because that is correct. God damn it, he was trying to lure us into a false sense of security with all these people around. Seems like we oh, we were too worried. We thought that they wouldn't go for collateral damage. Yeah. There's no collateral damage. Hi, Jonah. Hi. Can't you use your stand to make a hole through the ceiling? I don't think that'd be a good idea. So, like, look, looking when we were outside, like, all the people looked basically the same. Ah, uh, more or less, yes. Okay. They all have the same similar black umbrella and vacant expressions. They look like people, it's just they're, um, I don't know, they're similar. They look like people, but if you look close enough, you can tell something's weird. Yeah, you can probably guess that they're all... Yeah, No, <laughs> nobody who's just walking by would be able to tell, but if you spend like, a minute studying them, you can definitely tell there's something off. Yeah. Oi, Mercury. Hmm. Can you get me to the ceiling? I believe so. May I make Bagolji weightless? <laughs> Bagolji can move upwards three squares, yes, and reach the ceiling. Okay, does this put me above the windows? Um, yes. Ah, I should be safe to move around up here. Okay, I'm going to try to kind of drift myself closer to the window that broke. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna take a risk here. Oh, risky Jonah. I'm going to move right here and stand in view of the, of the window. Okay, you're specifically moving towards the window? Just in view of the window right here. Okay, but are you making any action to move towards the window? No, just staying in view of it. Okay. Could it be that... The stand targets those that the rain touches. Um, you are shaken. That is not correct at all. I'm, I'm glad you figured that out because, yeah, your whole thing with, oh, hey, oh, it would only attack Renegade and Renegade didn't have an umbrella. That was real smart. Not correct, However, but real smart. <laughs> there, is a, there is another thing I do for a fact. The type of weapon that he's using. It's a bolt-action rifle. <laughs> I will allow you to repair your shaken status because you are correct. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Fucking brilliant, Adam. <laughs> Adam's knowledge of guns. Come on. The Come tick, on. Tick. Click, 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 click. Yeah. click. yeah, no, it's perfect. Yeah, the I was... bolt being loaded. It's real good. I was thinking something similar. <laughs> does, jo does Jonah say that out loud? Well, it's Jojo. Of course he says it out loud. Oh, yeah, of course. Yes. I, think I was thinking something similar. Well, it hurts like a bitch! And I imagine so. Renegade, you're lucky to be alive. I've been shot three times. I just want to not be shot today. <laughs> <laughs> I know that feeling. Looking at all these extras here. <laughs> all right, I have a question for you again. 
Your beef is with the Joe Star, correct? The Joe Star, but anyone that's the Joe Star adjacent. That includes you, Zeppeli. <laughs> Uh, what did I do to you for you to be so angry? You did nothing to me. It is my brothers you should be worried about. Brothers? Great. So that means even if I were to say I have nothing to do with this and I would stand out of your way, you would still kill me. Good to know. I would not kill you. The holy hand of God would. I am merely a vessel for his divine will. Right. Uh, he's just gonna... Eh. Alright, I think I got what he's hinting at. It's not him with the rifle. It might be his stand. But also, Sebastian's gonna come in and try to get behind the wall out of the view of windows and stuff. Oh no. Sebastian looks inside, seeing like all these people. I don't think we're safe in here, guys. I don't think we're really safe anywhere. <laughs> Alright, they don't seem to be that capable. No! Hear me out on this, and this is not me monologuing or anything. <laughs> you take this with a grain of salt, but we've been shot from every which direction. And every direction we've been shot from, one of those have been there. I'm not monologuing this, because I might be wrong. And it might just be a shot in the dark. And you're to blame. <laughs> But, uh... <laughs> <laughs> and seriously... You know what? I'm gonna use that, Tally! And he points at that one right there. And seriously, you give God a bad name. <laughs> and I'm gonna set a secret action. Did I inspire a secret action? Maybe. Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, Jonah, at this point, you hear a... Okay, do I hear thunder, Tally? Uh, yes. Okay, Everyone well that activates thunder. my secret action I was about to set up. <laughs> okay! The moment I hear thunder, I'm kicking these freaking clothing stands in front of me to knock the clothes in front of Jonah. That's real good, okay, okay. Um, I'll give you, uh, a, let's say a d6, plus your brains. Alright. Versus, uh, this bullet. Versus the bullet. Yeah, okay. So you kick the clothing rack. Uh, I can't move it because this is a static map. Uh, you kick yeah. the clothing rack in front of Jonah. Uh, <laughs> the bullet goes through and kind of just pokes a hole in his hat. <laughs> my, my hat? Oi, if I'm ever you here checking, say something. I talk to this guy. Now you've made me mad. <laughs> <laughs> Jonah, can you make a brains roll? Idea. It's uh, escalation. Roll again. Oh, oh no! Boy. Escalation roll again! Wow! <laughs> no! Not another triple! Come on, beat a five. Please. Beat a five. Yay! Okay, Please. because that was a double escalation, that bullet came from a pistol, a silenced pistol, on the other side of this, of this room. It was a different weapon. The enemies changed weapons. Wait a minute, has... All the rifle shots been in people's sides in the backs. Because of what Jonah said, all of the rifle mm. shots have come here. The pistol shots have come this way. Oh, shoot. Okay. Wait. Uh, well, I am going to, uh... So, here's my thing. I'm going to make myself weightless and follow in Begolgi's footsteps. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and, uh, fly up. Hell yeah. Into the rafters! <laughs> Into the rafters! <laughs> Hell yeah, I strike a pose. <laughs> Spider-Man pose on the ceiling, Mercury. That's a stand action and a, and a half movement. <laughs> Alright, let's see. And... I think my one secret action that I have is pretty good. <laughs> I love that Bacolti has four and I'm horrified. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> One of those is gonna go off and it's gonna be catastrophic. <laughs> I I have I have some good ones planned. <laughs> I think the girl had a good idea. Whenever anyone hears clicking, just immediately shout. It doesn't matter what you shout, we'll just know. It's not, it's not just clicking now. Hmm. Listen, if you hear thunder, just get behind something. Wait. 
if you see thunder first. Yes, but lightning. Oh yeah, have there been lightning flashes before the thunder? Or has it just been kind of... It's lightless? just been something you hear. You haven't seen anything. Mm. <laughs> oh, thank god. Exploding dice. Yep. Exploding dice. I'll take that 10. I'll take that 10 HP. I'm at half health, guys. Good job, Renegade. Oh, ow. Uh, I am not in view of the window. Yes. If you need blood, just ask. <laughs> Alright, Sebastian, you should be worried about yourself there. I'm gonna shift further away from any windows. Okay. I wish you describe the faces on these people. Um, like... Can I get a brain scroll? Fuck me. This isn't an, an easy expression to read. They look kind of sad. See, Cat has a hunch. I think if you have this, if you okay, all right. I, I think have I know, a hunch. I think I know what your hunch is, but don't say it out loud. <laughs> I, I, yeah. I now have, that you I have a hunch. Yeah. I'm gonna stay there. It's away from the windows. All right. So I've got a plan. Might be a bit risky, but here we go. So I'm going to float over so that I'm right up against the wall above this window here. That's broken. Okay. And what I'm going to do... Okay, let me, let me do it again. Alright. If I sit on my stand now, I may not be able to see through it. But I don't need to see. Keep in mind that our enemy is using guns. <laughs> and I'm going to release... How many, how many should I release up there? Let's just say 10 for now. Okay. I'm going to... Okay, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to have them fan out in every single direction. Okay. Um, and uh, the way that they're doing this yeah. is that they're not revealing the form. They're using the rain that's gathered on the uh, on the ground to travel through. Great. Fantastic. Okay. So all that... And what they're doing... Mm -hmm. yeah. Here. Let me finish. What they're doing is that they're doing this in a way that they're fanning out. Hmm and towards every single person, and when they reach a person, they're going to search them for something conductive like a gun. Okay, I gotcha. They're gonna search these people for guns? Yep. Um, so you're moving through the water, correct, to get towards them? Yes. Okay, I guess I would uh, ask you to roll a brains roll. You find absolutely nothing. Okay. And in fact, um, your crocodile rock almost seems to get drawn towards these people? Alright, so I don't think these... I don't think these people are the ones who are armed. Yet, it doesn't make sense. Wouldn't you think it'd take a lot of energy to have all of these people out at once? Even if they are just minor illusions. We've already dealt with things that make us see things in dreams. What if he's moving too fast, leaving behind something? What if his speed is so great he leaves behind a sort of uh, after image? After image. I think I've heard of something like this before. But at the same time, it's the rain outside. You know how rain can refract images and all that. If only it would stop raining. I'm going to use the rest of my movement to move towards the upper window to see if I can get more out there. You're gonna move towards the window? All right. Well, at least that uh, we're on the corner right here. Okay. I'm going to walk over to this one that was talking. I'm going to wave my finger in front of its face. Okay, you do so. Does his eyes follow the fingers? Um, after a moment, yes. Could it be that he's using these il these illusions to track us? That he can see us through them? Is this a monologue right, action? That's what I was thinking. That is the monologue action indeed. I'm going to drop his bizarre field by one. Yes, he can see through these. Great. He's using Great. he's using these illusions to track us. Perfect. Jonah. Um, I have an idea. That's gonna activate one of his villainous actions. Uh, oh. Waits by the window. The moment you mention that uh, that his stand can see you, he's gonna fire at someone that should be invisible through the windows. That person is Renegade. Fuck me! <laughs> a bullet is coming through I think the I window. Know what called. <laughs> this is a sniper round, Renegade. Uh, anything you want to do. You actually have an uh, inkling that this is coming. Okay, okay, but you did hear the clicking. Right? You hear the tick tick. That's enough. <laughs> okay. I'm just. Can I try to. Can I try to jump? 
can I try to jump upwards and like parkour onto the wall? <laughs> like higher onto the wall? I mean, I'll give you a bronze check if you want to do that, yeah. Well, interestingly enough, those two clash. <laughs> okay. okay, wait, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on a second. Okay, if I understand if Renegade's doing parkour, she's yelling parkour, right? Mm -hmm. I'm yelling parkour. Parkour! Okay, then that probably will trigger my secret action, which I had. Okay. Uh, which is where if anybody is about to get shot and that they signify that they hear the ticking of the rifle, uh, I've hidden one of my stands on them to make them, to shock them and make them flinch, to make them more unpredictable in their movements. Ooh, okay. Ooh! That's real cool! <laughs> Uh, and because Renegade is doing parkour, like, why would she, other than the reason that she's going okay, back? Okay, so you're, oh. yeah. you're gonna roll against this escalation instead of Renegade, and I'm gonna give you 3d6 plus brains. <laughs> oh, nice. oh. oh! Go, Duncan! You guys nothing. Oh. Absolutely destroyed! Renegade, you fall backwards because of the shock! Your head turns around! Your eyes, it sees a hole in the wall, a bullet! It zooms over everyone! It... On the way through, it hits this woman back here, and she disperses and kind of just melts on the floor in a splash of liquid. Can we, uh... That just confirms what I was saying. If you can see us through these things, you can put put a shot through the wall towards our direction. Jonah, what ain't got rows of shotting for me? Very well. This, this, this will disarm my this will disarm my secret action, unfortunately. I take the rose out of my pocket. <laughs> I place there. And it becomes Rose. Rose of shouting! Alright, Sebastian, what do you need? <laughs> Don't worry. It's almost time for a show. Sebastian's gonna take a deep breath and look between Renegade and Jonah and he's like, eh, I don't know how much I can control you right now, Renegade. Too much blood loss. So, let's do this. And, uh, you know what, Tally? I think I'm gonna spend that character point right now. Okay. Oh. Jonah's gonna lose control of his body. Let's see how you like it. Whenever it's a little too dusty. So Dracula style! <laughs> and he's gonna use Jonah to control his stand over there, Rosa Sharing, along with himself to start punching the ground. And with himself, he's going to start breathing properly, charging his attacks with palm on, trying to knock up as much dust, as much debris as possible to make in here obscured. Hey, Sebastian. Yes. Dust is organic. Dust is organic. That is true. Um, issue with this, however, Jonah Joestar is not a Halmon user. He's not, I know. I am. Yes. I'm trying to use him to just knock up uh, more dust for me. <laughs> okay, you're not going to be able to use this as a Halmon attack, though. Haman would do absolutely yeah. nothing for you right now. <laughs> but, yes, you can try and bronze the floor with Rose of Sharon. I don't think I even need you to do anything for that. Jo Jonah and Rose of Sharon just start eating the shit out of the floor. <laughs> and there's Which... a big pile of roses now. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah, that too. that too. Which is also something I'm glad for. Uh, so, question, that's my stand action, correct? Yes. So, using my action, then, get... Closer to Renegade, hoping that this is going to Oh! Work. I have a great idea. Perfectly for a thing. I have a great idea. Oh my god. Alright. You want to hear it? Kind of, yes. Um, if you do put your Haman through the cloud of dust, you'll be able to control it. And probably move it, even through rain. So, I'm gonna grab some clothing from this uh, thing right here. And since this door is still technically open, I'm gonna toss some clothes through it to see what happens. And set up a... Yeah, I'm gonna set up a secret action as well. Um, yeah, so you just throw clothes in front of the door. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Just to see if anything would react to it. Literally and, uh... nothing happens. You threw clothes in front of the door. <laughs> <laughs> you should go around and drip clothes on everyone. Okay, Sebastian. Um, yeah, so at this point, um, you're gonna hear tick, tick. Bigolji. Thunder. Claps. Oh shoot, I don't have one on me. Okay. You God hear it, it though. You have the chance to react. Do we hear thunder again? Yeah, everyone does. Hmm. Uh, great. Does anyone say anything? Here, I'm gonna look it's a deck! Some, what can I possibly use? 
Oh yeah, uh, I'm going to push off of the wall and try to use my phone to protect uh, vital organs. Fucking <laughs> 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 bronze roll plus phone. Stupid fucker. <laughs> plus phone. <laughs> <laughs> you and your goddamn phone. Let's see, plus two plus... Hell yeah. Okay, so the <laughs> bullet slams into the phone, knocking the phone backwards into you, dealing two force damage, but you're not shot. <laughs> Your phone seems to work a lot better on bullets than road signs. <laughs> Alright. Shut up. <laughs> How long are you going to stay in this one room? You're all easy pickings for me. Ah, uh, you know, just long enough to figure out where you're trying to shoot us from. Mm. <laughs> Mercury, good thing. Alright, so, uh, a person splattered here, right? Yes. Alright, uh, from looking at it, what kind of liquid is it? Uh, brain's roll. Uh, she turned into water. Perfect. That's enough for me to have, uh, to have a monologue action. Alright! Oh. So, I, I, uh, dramatically kind of take out my umbrella and I kind of it's wet obviously and I kind of wipe it with my glove and to kind of put the water between my fingers this stand could it be that it's the water and the clouds the rain itself is the stand oh, wait rain drops are falling on my head shut up Sebastian yes you're correct Mercury <laughs> hell yeah <laughs> It lowers Bizarre Field by I one. So. The stand is the rain. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I'm going to... Basically, th this is a thing, kind of. I'm go The secret action that I set, I'm going to quote-unquote drop it and then put it right back up again because I'm changing one part of it slightly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I can allow that. Nice. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> Still healing yourself or Sebastian? Uh, fuck. Oh, no, I'm gonna give this to Sebastian. Hold on. Exploding dice. Yeah, give me that explodo. Yeah. Alright, 18 HP. Sebastian's Keep up to full. full. I mean, you don't have to. No, take it. Alright, just stay close. Uh, Mercury. Yes. Can you get me up? Alright, I <laughs> make. <laughs> Renegade Weightless. <laughs> nice. Just put that there. Hello. So you have to pull yeah, right it out to right do in, that. Right in the, in the clothes rack. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't stop me now. Pokes his head out and taps Renegade. Hiding like a child. <laughs> I'm gonna, like, float diagonally to over this person. Okay. You're floating. Uh, you going to the ceiling then? Yeah. Alright. And I can't do anything else unless I can use my stand ability to hit them. Golgi. Oh yes, what is crocodiles it? Again. Hmm. Well, I was going to say, if this stand is the rain, wouldn't it be time for a shocking experience? Uh, can exactly attack rain. True. Could, couldn't you send them up through the raindrops into the clouds and shock the clouds themselves, add some lightning to the thunder? That'd be awesome. Alright, uh, here's <laughs> the thing. You want to stop them from trying to shoot us, really? Okay, and with that, I think I'm going to... Try drifting over above this window. Mm hmm. This 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 is the same as the other windows, right? It's not it's not ground for ceiling. Oh, sorry, that window. You didn't ping anything. Hold on, that window is oh, still open. Yeah. Oh, okay. Then no, I'm not going over there. Then. <laughs> Don't go over there yet. <laughs> there is still a dust cloud in here, isn't there? Uh, where Jonah and Rose is, yeah. Oh, oh dust. can you like use an aura to show how big it is? No, <laughs> I don't think it's relevant. It's just around them. It's not that big. It's not that big. <laughs> Looking around this room, are there, like, any outlets nearby? Um, yes, there would be. I'm not gonna point them out, they're just around. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh... Well, if they're just around, let's just say that there's one right here in this corner. Sounds good enough to me. Okay, so while the ten fan out, I'm going to send uh, the other six through the outlet. 
mm. and have them uh, split up and go to the other buildings. Okay. Um, I will allow you to move double movement along the outlet because it's Crocodile Rock. So we've got... Going to the hotel, we've got... One... Two... Three... Okay, I said I'll allow you to and move double got... movement. You're only moving single movement. Oh, uh, hang on. You can move... Shield you can move 60, so move that 30 more. Ah, and please. these ones will only be able to make it to about... Here-ish. Okay, so those ones are heading towards the cafe, and these ones are heading towards the hotel. And the ones that I already have out there are going to continue uh, spreading out and then going... Hmm, these can each go 30, so let's say they all start by going diagonally. Okay, so they're fanning out towards the fountain? Yep. And what I'm going to be doing is that whether it be it's a ring or a ticking, uh, I'm going to hear. The I'm going support? to hear through. Yeah, I'm going to hear through them from that direction. Okay. See if I can pinpoint the exact location of the gunshot. Uh, for convenience' sake, uh, another bullet is going to be heading um, through the window directly in front of you, but not for you, for Jonah. And you hear tick tick. Uh, do you want to give me a okay. perception for these guys, which would be stance precision? Okay, so this must be just a faint sound then. It's not super obvious. <laughs> Alright, so your stands, uh, this one here is at the loudest. And it's this coming, one? uh, the one at the very bottom, it's coming in this direction. A little up in that direction. Okay. Uh, Jonah, you're getting shot! <laughs> so, uh, there, right? so from that yes. we can assume that there's a window up I here. attempt to evade. I'm- I'm gonna- I'm gonna take my own advice, and as soon as I heard a thunder, I'm gonna hit- I'm gonna throw myself on the ground. The only way you're gonna I do should, this easily is with stand speed. Okay, Jonah, you're shot in the, um... Let's go with the side of the arm. You take, uh, nine damage. And you hit the deck. My suit. Yeah, blood starts to cover the suit. Damn it! Jonah, you should have said something! Ugh. It's alright. Alright. About how many uh, roses did uh, Rosa Sharon punching the floor make? A lot. Every single one of these freaking things, in view of Rose, are, get are getting a rose flicked at it! <laughs> <laughs> okay, that would be stand speed plus the precision modifier. Speed to do it quickly, and you're going to add the precision modifier to hit them. Um, so this is a dual tech. This is something that doesn't happen very often, but in the case of a very specific action like this, I'm going to give you so that speed bonus. Speed plus precision? Speed plus precision. That's a two, That's 2d6 plus 5. 2d6 plus 5, nice. then. That helps. Okay, yeah. So you're easily able to flick the rose around and stick the pieces of the rose into all of the, um, all of the people in this room. Every single one of them. Shotgun raid! Anything you want to do? Yeah, shotgun raid. And give them all the big suck. <laughs> Alright. So, uh, Slurp. we're gonna say yes. Each of these is made of water. <laughs> you suck each of them up. And Damn, you're gonna be properly hydrated now. <laughs> this one that was hiding in the coat rack, you even got him. Uh, <laughs> yeah, all these people, and including the one underneath Renegade. How could he be hiding? He has an umbrella. And this one right next to you. Almost forgot. There you go! You've cleared the room and left a bunch of roses in your wake. That should give us a bit more freedom to move. With that, I'm going to... That'd be a very stupid idea. You better, you better, you better take a stupid idea. If you don't do the stupid <laughs> idea, I'm faulting you. <laughs> do it. Alright, can I move up myself and the stand at the same time? Yes, each of you in your stand has movement. 5, 10, 15, 20, 30. I'm, I, that's not what I want to grab, but okay. I'm running this way. You approach the oh, window. Stand, this way. activates his villainous action. <laughs> oh, no. All right. I'm moving this as well if it's heavy in tandem. 30, mm, okay. 35, We're 40, gonna. It, it reactivates weights by the window. Uh, Jonah, you're going to be getting shot by a pistol round. Okay, silenced pistol round. I hear that. 
you hear the pew, and you cannot react in time. You take seven. Jonah gets hit in the chest, a spray of blood flattering out. It got dangerously close to your neck. God damn it, you're all getting shot too much. It's all right. I'm going I'm going to play dead. You're going to play uh, dead? Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, how are you going to play dead? Are you going to deactivate Rosa Sharon? Because you'd have to do that. How my plan is... I am wagering that he's fo while focusing on me, he didn't notice Rose so Sharon moving away. Hmm. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna wager on that. And I'm just going to slump over as a bullet okay. hits me. I think I've got another secret action. Okay, I'm gonna need a brain oh, scroll. One you. I'm gonna need a counter brain scroll, Jonah. I am not going to tell you the results of this roll. Uh, Renegade, take care of him. I, uh, it's in front of a window. I, mm, if the stand is the rain, that means the water is unusable by me. So, you know what? This is fine. Sebastian is going to take a deep breath. And I'm going to set a secret action right now. The Golgi. Anyone? Any idea where he's at? Uh, I'm going to have to lie because I don't want him to move. Oh. <laughs> ah, nothing lit. All right, I'm gonna take a shot in the dark. All right, so using my movement, Sebastian's gonna come outside and uh, close his eyes and just start whistling. The umbrella hits the ground. Uh, Wait, you he... dropped the umbrella? He's gonna let it like hit right here. And he's like, sorry, I'll get you out a new one. Oh. You deactivate my secret action. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, <I'm rich. laughs> Sorry. It's all right. Right here. Don't you have here. three secret actions, Sebastian? Yes, I do. I'm sorry. I need to set that red one on again. There we go. So that would be his movement right there. His eyes are closed and he's whistling. Hands are in his pockets. Ooh. Oh, I know what you're... <laughs> okay. <laughs> you get shot in the head. <laughs> <laughs> that activates my secret action. As I, I think that... The... Clicking. I think that activates mine as well. Okay. So, Tally, if I hear the trigger for a gunshot, I'm going to unseal my blood canister and use Haman to make a Sebastian double to take my place. Uh... <laughs> Hold on now. <laughs> so you're telling me that's not Sebastian? That's not Sebastian. Where was he? Just still in the room? Still in the room, hiding in the clothes. <laughs> oh my god. That's the most okay. JoJo thing ever. Okay, the blood face okay. just gets <laughs> then, sniped then, in the head. And my my blood action is pointless then. <laughs> yeah, your blood thing gets... I'm, I'm, not, I'm not going to use it. Your, your, your blood thing gets sniped in the head and explodes. Okay, but can my crocodile rocks uh, better pinpoint the exact window that the shots are coming from? Uh, they aren't coming from a window, in fact. At least that would be your guess, because they would be echoing off of something. No, in fact, they're, um... If you had to guess, they're coming from the roof. Yep, that's. What uh, at this I point, at this point, you hear footsteps, like splashing in the water, the something moving, Duncan, across, okay. across the roof. <laughs> uh, at this point, uh, through the other window, <laughs> Jonah, <laughs> you're gonna get shot again <laughs> by a Damn pistol. <laughs> he did not fall God. for it. <laughs> you take seven damage, Jonah. More blood starts to fall out of your uh, shoulder as you um, you hear the sound of another silenced pistol shot go off. Oi, Jojo, get away from that window! Right, that didn't work. I'm going to use what I did in preparation as the, uh, of the secret action as a joke thing. I make Don't Stop Me now, uh, now pick up the umbrella, hand it to Sebastian, make him weightless, and I use the secret string that I had attached to it to pull him up into the rafters. <laughs> that works. Okay. This is I'm, I'm making you join us. This seems to be the safest place. Jonah, get the hell over here! <laughs> Jonah on uh, the floor bleeding. Right. Oh. My everything hurts. How much blood is on the ground currently? I mean, a lot. Okay. Renegade's bled a lot. Bagolshi got... No, he didn't bleed. Jonah's bleeding a lot over there. Renegade... Renegade's got like a blood trail leading over to her. Uh, and Jonah's, yeah. I'm gonna set 
an extremely stupid secret action. Hell yeah! Oh, okay. Thank you! Who wants it? I'm gonna heal myself. Cool. Okay. Oops. I don't like being at half health. <laughs> I feel ya. Thank you for earlier, healer. Oh. Um, and I'm gonna... The windows by Jonah, are they all the way up? Like, are they like, really tall? It's like or a big like a... display case, you know? It's the whole okay, so front there's, face is, of... Is, yeah. is there like oh. a wall? Is there like a portion I could float above? Not at all for that window. Not at all. Cool! That's what I thought. <laughs> There is still that small dust cloud right there. Yeah, sure is. And it sure has dissipated. <laughs> I sure don't know what you were planning with that. <laughs> I honestly was going to try to make it really dusty in the room so they couldn't see us. It didn't work. But, it, uh, okay. I took care of that. That's that. Mm. <laughs> he immediately took care of that anyway with all the roses. Uh, 15 feet there. Gonna, like, mm, I'm gonna float behind the clothes. Okay, okay. Uh, oh yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna use my secondary to move along the clothes rack here. Hmm. I'm gonna, I'm eventually gonna loop around to Jonah, kind of. Okay, to start with, so this uh, hotel right here, it's is it a one-story building? It's a three-story building. Ah, uh, three stories. Okay. Uh, how are how is it laid out? Is it are all uh, floors like the equal equal size? Yes. Okay. Then I'm going to move the uh, crocodiles that were in the uh, that went through the outlet. I'm going to try to move them to to the top center room, which is facing the streets out here. Okay, the one that's visible currently. Yes. Yeah, you can do that. You can very well just keep moving them into there. Okay, where to though? That's the question. Uh, I saw them come out of the TV. Yeah, that's what I was <laughs> thinking you should do. <laughs> <laughs> Crocodiles just nice. jump out of the TV. Um, you see a room. It's empty. It seems like it's occupied though. The bed has been sh shoveled. Oh, okay. sorry, you can't see. Never mind. You're just in nope, a room. Do you but the crocodiles can. <laughs> yeah. Fair. The crocodiles see that. Okay. Uh, what, what can I have them do? Oh, I know. I'm going. I'm going to make them hide under the rug. <laughs> okay. There are other ones, which are heading more towards the hotel, or not the hotel, the cafe. Mm-hmm. Um, can I move them inside the building? Yep. Okay. Should be pretty packed. Let's say you come out of the coffee maker over here. <laughs> Pops out of the cafe coffee maker. Okay. And from there, I guess I can have them fan out like so. We've still got to know why there's gunshots coming from two directions. Very much yeah. so. I have oh, an idea. Um, so, okay. There is. Okay. Th hmm, this is going to be really hard. So your crocodiles can see shit, but you can't, right? Right. So should I show you that your crocodiles have picked up that something's in this room? How do I show that? <laughs> I'll just say that they have picked up some things in this room. You can put like okay. a... <laughs> if I they know where token. it is, you can put like a blank token where it is. Yeah, I'm just gonna take this token here and I'm gonna color it uh, black. And then we'll say that's the special token. There's something hey, there. <laughs> Painted black. <laughs> okay, and these ones right here, uh, they're going to... I'm going to have them travel up the gutter. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Okay, okay. So they can get up to the roof pretty much instantly. Um, right. Sounds good. As they're traveling up the gutter, you hear the sounds of something boots on metal descending, going away. Do you say ascending or descending? Descending. As if they're going down the staircase. Well, let's just say these three are able to get up here. Yeah, you hear someone going down a staircase. Okay, I'm going to then move the rest of them uh, further diagonal. This one, this one zips across the fountain. <laughs> Zoom! 
Okay, they're making their way through. Uh-huh. I'd say try to get Renegade over to Jonah's the best option. That's what I'm going for. I'm going to 3D print a small stone. Okay. A small stone. That's heavy enough to uh, break a window. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to uh, use this to try to create a distraction. Is this like a desk that's complete at the ground? Is there no space under it? Yes. Okay. Then I'm probably going to move down so that I'm behind it. Mostly, and then prepare to throw the rock through the window. Okay. Throw the rock through the window so that cracks form in the glass, and if cracks form in the glass, then uh, light won't be going through the window at a perfectly straight angle. It will be refracted. Oh, that's real smart. So you're saying you're going to throw off the shot? Okay. Absolutely. Okay. That's awesome. real smart. I would roll a brains roll. Big oh. brain time. Big brain time. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. Brain blast! Yeah. Jonah! Get, get through that brain power. It's your turn. I'm... Please move so you... away from the window. So you said that they're coming from the roof, correct? Was that said? I don't believe you know that. It was not well... said. Well... And, well, now that everybody... You see, the problem is I don't know if there are people still hiding around to here. Don't, correct. It's up to Bagolji whether or not he wants to share that information. Not risking it yet. So no, you don't. Right. I'm gonna move and crawl behind this desk here. <laughs> hey, look, it's Bagolji. Hey, Bagolji. Ah, good day there. What do you think is going on with this? You have any idea where he is? Okay. Yeah, if you if you want to listen closely, Aye. I still can't confirm that he's not listening right now. But don't worry about it. My crocodile rock is on the case. All right then. You know I'm gonna do the same thing. Right. Could I possibly have my stand beat the crap out of the ground and then shotgun the roses as he beats the ground? Cause why not? <laughs> New, new ability discovered. Uh, Rose of Sharon <laughs> over there? You're, you're thinking of right there? Beating the ground and putting roses and then flicking them around? Yep. Uh, hmm. Sling the roses, no, sling the so, roses as he punches it. Previously, previously, it was a two-turn action. So if you wanted to prepare this and then shotgun it to get the super bonus, you could. I am going... In that, actually, in that case... Ooh, this is risky. Oh, this is so risky, but... 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. This should be a good spot. I start beating the crap out of the ground. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, you guys oh, know what I'm doing. I'm making a reasonably sized crater. If you need more for any particular reason, I'll give you more. <laughs> Sebastian's going to look over at Mercury and give him a small smile. Just be like, it. Do you trust me? More than the rest of the people here. Good. Make me back to normal. Alright. He goes back to normal gravity. He's gonna land right there in the middle of all the clothes. Okay. And set a secret action. Jonah, what are you doing out there? I hear your stand going crazy. Let's just say that... It's time to put out a few eyes. Alright, I'm going to use my stand action to take control of Jonah, and I'm going to make Rosa shouting punch the ground even more to get more roses, to double down on his effects. Okay, there's more roses there, I don't put them there because I don't care right Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we then, get it, there's roses. There's roses there. I'm going to call Bagolji and set a secret action with him specifically. You're going to call him? Yes. <laughs> There's a specific reason why I say call. I... Alright. Uh, okay, both Mercury and Jonah would easily be able to hear this. Just say. Yes. Oh yeah, no, I know. So, he's just gonna call Bagolji and just be like, keep me on line, one in phone. At this point, Sebastian. Yeah? Uh, not just Sebastian, everybody. Uh, the door opens. And some people start coming in. One person jumps in through the window on the other side. People jumping through this window. 
They start to sort of swarm the building. Uh, Crocodile Rock. If we go over to the cafe, that thing that the crocodiles can see comes over towards your crocodiles and is gonna start to beat the shit out of them. <laughs> uh, theoretically, um, destroying all three of them. Okay. Unless you want to roll a uh, durability of your stand. Uh, it's probably just gonna waste time. You just wanna let them all die? Might as well try. Okay. See if I can uh, salvage one. You do, in fact, salvage two of them. It's only able to take out one. Nice. Uh, <laughs> Crocodile Rock in the building, however. Uh, we're gonna copy this invisible target token over here. Something opens the door and enters into the room. <laughs> Runs in. Okay. Well. And takes a step over towards here to grab something out of the uh, the, the desk, uh, the um, the dresser. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> about that. <laughs> yeah, about that. <laughs> I don't actually have a secret action prep for this. I was just kind of expecting to be able to do it if they were in the room. Uh, when it was my turn. Then it will be your I'm turn guessing... at which something yeah. can happen. <laughs> 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 if there's no secret action, nothing happens. Uh, yeah, so everybody, you notice that happening. People are starting to come in. Uh, one, one, one specifically, um, this one just kind of stands over and starts to push its way into the clothes to see Sebastian. The other one near Mercury. Uh, one makes its way back towards Renegade. And I'm assuming because they entered the room with them, I can hear them now? Yeah, you can hear- uh, well, you heard someone enter the door, and, er, and you hear someone ruffling around. They're very close to your stand, you know that. Okay. I'm going to... drop to here, and, uh, throw a knife and see if I can get both of these people. <laughs> with a knife? Yes, with okay, one of them throwing the knife. the knife sails right through both of them. This is a stand. Right. Forgot about that. <laughs> so, I'm going to use that same knife, stick it into the door uh, that opened. Does the door open in or out? Um, let's just say out. Alright. Stick it into the door and slam it closed. <laughs> okay. That's a cool action. I'll move him around here. Okay. Ran again. That seems pretty good. Hi, um, god. Which is more die? Uh, Jonah, how bad are you hurting? Uh, very. Uh, very? Oh. Alright, in case you couldn't tell from other blood coming out of him. I can't see over these clothes. Hurry up, it's dripping all over my suit. My suit is probably now red instead of white. <laughs> Start to get there. 15 feet. 15 feet. Hi, would you like some healing? That would be lovely, and perhaps a tailor. A tailor. I don't so. <laughs> Take your seven health, mister. Thank you. Okay, I'm, I'm trying I'm trying to piece together how this guy could be attacking from two places at once. We we've already we already know what a stand is. Yeah. So there's only one way it could also be his stand helping him out. Mm-hmm. And if it's not his stand, then I'm gonna the monologue set a now would narrow it down. Action. No, I can't set a secret action. That's my turn. Never mind. Okay, monologue time. Oh, wait, I think I figured it out. We've already seen that this guy's able to make water clones of uh, people, at least. Why not also make a water clone of himself? <laughs> Okay. Uh, at this point, you hear from this person over here. Oh my god. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Uh, the person who just walked into the door, um, walking towards you, sort of starts to shift and merge until its face looks a lot more recognizable, a lot more definable, a lot more familiar. It would seem that you've figured out my trick. You're not the smartest bunch, are you? However, that is indeed the power of my stand. Eleanor Rigby. <laughs> I knew it. 
It allows me to create a crowd of illusory people with any sort of abilities or looks that I desire. But knowing that, I don't think it's going to help you at this point. Ah, you got us all wrong. I wasn't taking all this time to figure out your silly little stamp power. I was just getting to you in a place where I wanted you. Oh, yeah. And with that, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to use my stands okay. to simultaneously attack both of the armed uh, water people. The ones that attacked uh, the one in the cafe and the ones that walked past the carpet up in the hotel. Okay, so you're going to attack the one in the cafe and you're going to attack this guy here and... Or, sorry, you're going to attack the guy over in the, um... <laughs> the, uh... This place. Uh, let's start with the one in the cafe. Okay, the one in the cafe. Um... You would know that your stand knows that this person over here in the cafe? Uh, is no longer suspicious in the slightest. It's just a normal person over there now. Quote unquote normal. Huh. Quote unquote normal. But this one so is they were able to do that during my turn? Okay. Um, you want to roll a change. you want to roll a brain scroll for me <laughs> to figure out something? Oh, Father Mackenzie, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, duck it. Okay, it seems to you that this stand can only create one copy of him. Oh. Oh. Tally, is the bizarre field down? Yes. I activate my secret action. Okay. Yep. <laughs> he's going. He's going to do this already. Well, let me help you out. Up. Let me help you out first. Yes, let's uh, Well, this. first, before you do that, the crocodile rocks that are underneath the carpet are going to lunge out. Okay. <laughs> They're lunging out at this target. <laughs> Your stance knows and... this, this is a normal person. <laughs> and But they are at least going to destroy him. Okay. And by normal person, I mean it's him. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> Oh, I thought, I thought you meant it was just one of those, uh, like, place Not at place. all! Nope, that was actually him walking into his room. From the ah. roof! Okay, it's time, it's time to stun them. So, I'm going to be doing a... precision sneak attack thing with my three crocodile rocks in this room. Okay, sounds good. Look, I'm, I'm not going to do this non-violently, I'm going to try also... Yeah, okay, so roll, 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 roll power. power! Power, power, plus precision. Okay, um... Yeah, they jump out and they start to shock him. Uh, the water coating his body just... You hear the sound of like... Mm. Okay, and, and this I'm going to say... Okay, hotel! Third story! Center room, everybody go! <laughs> and that... Uh, and my secret action procs. As the moment the bizarre field drops, I shall spend a bizarre point. Having used the blood on the ground near him, left by Renegade to make a Sebastian clone, no one will have noticed when I appear behind the stand user. Fighting <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, his neck. Oh my yeah. god! No, never mind. I was going to say something. Never mind. Just do that. Just do that. Continue. Yeah, Holy I'm, shit. Appearing behind the stand user. Get it. Fighting his neck, trying to use my stand and Haman to expend a little bit of my blood. Haman, huh? I'm okay. trying to inject... Come on, blood, and him explodes. Slowly but surely, let me say this out loud real quick. Um, the blood clone of Sebastian that was hiding in here just simply dissolves. Father Mackenzie watches as before his very eyes. Sebastian was not in that coat closet. He was, in fact, right behind him. <laughs> Give me 3d6, you bastard. <laughs> Plus brains? Yes. This is absolutely fantastic. Peak Jojo. This is great. Peak Jojo. <laughs> <laughs> and let me just tell you. Don't hurt my friends. Oh, man! Ooh, that's a good roll. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna counter that. This is now visible. We're gonna use his bronze to counter it, because that's about all he can do. Um... <laughs> He does have a sniper rifle in his hands, and he was actually reaching into the dresser you can see now. He was going for, um, a knife. Nice. Okay. But I'm gonna also tell you something else. Here's his bronze roll to defend against that. Seven? Okay, that would be seven. Well, he actually takes fourteen. Oh. oh. <laughs> oh shit. Sebastian, 
I don't think you know what this means, but he seems to be burning. Oh. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, <crap>. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that was incredible. Do we see do we see this attack really? reflected in the clone that's in the closed door? Yeah, I'm gonna actually say this, because I haven't shown this yet. The clone himself sort of starts to morph and change and turn. His vision his vision his visage changing and shifting into something in pain, reflecting its user. The stench appears. Fucking hell. <laughs> oh wait, Bagolji's still got more of a turn! Go Bagolji! Oh shit, yeah. That was a monologue action, so. Oh. Oh my god, he called Bagolji so he could talk to him. Yeah. Uh-huh. I didn't actually expect the stand to appear in the closed door. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I'm setting a secret action of my own. I'm setting it to you, Sebastian. Oh god, alright. Oh, I'm also going to tell you a little more meta knowledge because his, uh, bra uh bizarre field has dropped. Uh, he was specifically targeting Renegade and Sebastian because he's aware that they were Homan users. Yeah. That makes sense. That makes sense. I, I had a feeling that that was it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh shoot, no wait. Instead of defend, can I set a secret action real quick? I just got a really good one. Mm -hmm. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Along the way the entire time. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, That's a lot of roses. Sebastian, you beautiful bastard, you know what to do. Uh -huh. All to you, mate. <laughs> the fuck is going on? But I'm fascinated. <laughs> All right, Sebastian. Uh, let's see. Is this a window? Yes, it is. You're pretty quick on the uptake, huh? <laughs> yes. A vampire must be very quick if he's going to survive. A vampire. Hi, Sebastian. Put me on speaker. <laughs> <laughs> Oi! Fuck you and your stand! <laughs> <laughs> what is my shirt made of? Mm -hmm. Silk is what it looks like. It looks like silk to me. Right. Well, I am so very sorry, but uh, a friend seems to want to meet you. Why don't you come with me? And. He's gonna try his damnedest to freaking drag him and throw himself and him out the window. <clears throat> Interesting. Okay, he's going to resist that. Yeah. He's going to specifically attempt to stab you in the gut with a knife that he just picked up. <gasps> oh, oh, yes! Nice. Yes! Hi, right, you start to pull him, he goes for a cut at you. Completely misses because of your strong arm. Unhand me, you filthy swine. Sure. As soon as we're outside. And, uh, yeah. Out the window. <laughs> Father and McKenzie. that activates my secret action, rat. God, the dude. moment. Hell yeah. The moment McKenzie is outside. Every single rose <laughs> made by Rose of Shard are just gonna skewer this boy! <laughs> <laughs> Father Mackenzie gets thrown out the window with a crash! <laughs> it basically can be thrown into like the big spike pit. So many oh. roses! <laughs> so two. many roses! Adam, I'm gonna give you a choice. Do you wanna roll secret action damage, which is 3d6 plus brains, or do you wanna give him a critical injury? Critical! Okay! Oh, hell yeah. I'm gonna also allow you to roll uh, your stance power for damage. Okay, so your roses rail his arms, tearing off bits of the flesh. He lands in a bloody pile. An excessive amount of blood, you'd have to say, for some man of this stature, as all of the roses just fly <laughs> into him. This person, too, apparently. Uh, Jonah! Do it, boy! I'm taking control for a moment! <laughs> Go right ahead, my friend! Oh, God. And he's already told me how this works. Well, guess what? I'm draining him of all his blood. Give him the big suck. Okay. 
You're gonna attempt to suck all the blood out of him. This would be a power roll from uh, Mr. Rose Sharon. Okay. I'm gonna counter this real quick. Oh, just barely. Okay. So, as you attempt to suck all of the blood out of him, all of your roses start getting cold? He seems to be freezing all of them. Taking all of the ability, all of the life energy out of them, you're only able to suck a very minor amount of his blood out before he's able to completely shove off the attack. He starts to brush himself off as he stands up. Oh my, the tactics you kids come up with these days. Mm. This stand, Eleanor Rigby, points towards Mercury, and he says, taking a triumphant pose, Mercury, you were there. Do you remember nothing of your creator? The one whose power truly stands above us all. It falls and starts like groveling at the floor. Oh nay, we are not worthy under his holy gaze to seek redemption under such trying times. And quickly he's back standing up by your side. May God give me strength. Eleanor Rigby is going to come over by your side, uh, transform into Mackenzie for but a moment, pull out a silenced pistol, and attempt to shoot Renegade in the head. <laughs> yeah, okay, no. Okay. Uh, can I dive off of the ceiling? Yes. Yeah, to... So we'll roll a d6 yeah, plus the stand speed of Mercury, which is what's uh, your speed modifier, Mercury? Uh, Clash. All right. Escalation. Oh, fuck. Right. No! I can't beat oh, that. Yeah. You take six damage as you're shot. Okay. Uh, Mackenzie himself then is uh, gonna take a step back underneath this Eve. In fact, crawling his way up in an almost Wait, inhuman I... way. Wait, I would like to. Uh... He can... I can assume he can hear through his stand, right? Yeah, very much so. He's been talking to you. All right, and I, I say. <laughs> yes, I was there. Come outside, one ho unholy abomination to another. <laughs> oh, that's a challenge! Is Mercury Ooh. challenging this man to a duel? Essentially. <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> oh! I accept your challenge. This is so funny. <laughs> the fuck, dude? Okay, <laughs> at this point, Eleanor Rigby lowers the gun and vanishes. Jonah, your stand. Take it inside. Right. I'm just gonna step. I'm just going to. Uh, <laughs> can, I, can I just uh, dispel uh, jo uh, Rosa Sharon? Yeah. Bagulji, what's going on over there? I can't pick up everything. I'm trying to figure this out myself. Uh, right. uh, everyone's free to move for the moment. Mackenzie steps down and brushes himself off, his lip bleeding. A glint of fangs in the in the rain, and the lights of the sulfur lights above, as he takes a look towards Mercury. And one hand crossed over his chest, gripping a necklace in his left hand. Hmm. Mercury, what are you doing? Stay out of this, Sebastian. This is my fight now. All right. I trust you. So you do remember. How could I forget? Yet still you take up arms with the Joe Star and the Zeppelin. <laughs> I have my reasons. You're going against his wishes. <sighs> You're just trying to make yourself better, in a way. Repent for what you are. <laughs> At that, he just narrows his eyes and takes a stance. <laughs> okay, Mercury, I'm going to make you go first. All right. Okay, everybody get ready to commentate. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect this. I love it. <laughs> Alright. 
I grab, uh, I grab one of my throwing knives with one ha uh, with one hand, and then quickly with my other hand grab a knife and throw it at him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, precision, please. Jesus Christ! Oh my God! My precision is A. <laughs> I'm gonna roll this bronze. <laughs> oh, okay. He's stuck with the knife. Good. Oh my god! Incredible, right off the bat he hit him with a knife throw! <laughs> Mackenzie, looking down at the knife that's in his chest, perfectly slid in between both his uh, left arm and right arm that were crossed over his chest. You're no amateur. Hmm. I know what I'm doing. I've been around for a lot longer than most people. Um, let me look at what he's got in his inventory real quick. <laughs> okay, alright, fuck, alright. Uh, his one hand, um, he's got the one hand on the cross and the other hand that was, like, wrapped around his, his uh, chest. He just kind of <laughs> grins. And chucks a grenade at you. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! All right. That was typed with the song I'm... singing "Explode." By the way, <laughs> you want to know, know what I'm gonna try and do? Sure. As he's uh, so, my stand does have a long range ability where it can make things heavier. Mm -hmm. While it's in his hand, I'm gonna make it too heavy to throw. <gasps> okay, we're gonna need your stand speed. All right. Uh, versus the grenade. <laughs> There's the, oh my god. Oh god. <laughs> That's <Jeez>. the grenade. <laughs> Can I use a bizarre point to make him re-roll that? Yeah. <laughs> I do so. Oh my god. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so what you're going to be able to do with this, unless you want to do something else, um, mm -hmm. the grenade's going to drop right here in front of you, so it's going to take a lot of less, a lot less damage. You'd only take 8 damage. All right. As the blast goes on. All right. At the same time, Eleanor Rigby <laughs> materializes in the in the side, holding an identical grenade and chucks it at you. <laughs> Using the blast of the first grenade, I make myself weightless and use it to propel myself into him with a knife facing forward. Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> so. You're gonna take the eight, you're gonna take that, but then I'm gonna let you roll an unopposed damage attack against him. <laughs> Hell yeah. So first and foremost, you're using your stand, so it would be stand's power plus your bronze modifier because of your knife. All right. I roll. Okay, Mercury slams into him, ramming the knife directly into his chest. What did the one of these crocodiles do? There's another three on the way. <laughs> My god, you guys! <laughs> okay, yeah! You impact him directly in the chest. Blood starts to seep down, coming out of his heart, you'd want to say? <laughs> Doesn't seem to yeah, affect roughly. him very much. <laughs> Your turn. I look at his neck, see it's burned. You face Sebastian, I see. <laughs> he has a power. One I haven't faced in years. Well. <laughs> He's not exactly doing it right. Here. Let, let me show you how it's really done. <laughs> I'm going to bite his neck. <laughs> In a response oh. to that, he's going to say, It's a shame. I don't think it's going to save his life either. Okay, and he's going to try and counter suck. <laughs> counter suck. Okay, we're going <laughs> to roll suck versus each other. <laughs> All right. What would that be? Uh, exsanguination. Uh, directly attack the opponent uh, whenever the spawn does direct damage to the opponent, making a physical attack. So, one d six plus your bronze. All right. Uh, bronze is basically worthless because I think you have the same bronze. Yeah. All right. Is our point? <laughs> <laughs> On him or you? Uh, him. Okay. Damn. Same role. Right. Unfortunate. Yeah. Um, can I, uh, I don't know if I can try to up my own bizarre point. You could, totally, I mean, you're watching. I chime in with a bizarre point to, for, uh, them to reroll. Okay, you beat him by one. You're gonna heal for one, yeah. <laughs> Mercury. Woo, one. As this suck fight goes on. <laughs> my stand goes behind him. His stand goes to your side, but, oh, not, not there. 
behind you. <laughs> <laughs> Why are they? Renegade just turns to Bugulchi. Why are they mimicking each other? This is like, <laughs> I I could deal with Mercury, but two of them like <laughs> they're both really edgy too. <laughs> I honestly expected Ashton to be acting more this way. Why are they biting each other's necks? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, maybe Sebastian got them into a cult. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, uh, Mackenzie is gonna continue to suck fight if you wanna roll another suck fight. <laughs> so, I would like to do, uh, do something, uh, instead. I'm gonna make him weightless using the knife that I already have in, in him, and swing him around and slam him into his own stand. Okay, I think that or was still the bronze. Alright, I'm done with that. Okay, no more, he's gonna take one used. HP from you. Yeah, he took it back. He took it back. At the same point, his stand is going to stab a knife into your back. Alright, counter to grab the knife that is currently being used, step aside, stab it into him! <laughs> <laughs> sure! You could, like, take a what? sidestep and pull his stand's knife into yeah, him. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Alright. Yay. Oh yeah! Okay, it's successful. You sidestep. You take the knife. You you let it plunge right into him. Sebastian's <laughs> jaw just drops. Holy shit! Such speed! I've never seen something like this before. Mm -hmm. A lot of blood dripping from his mouth. <coughs> he coughs. Blood sprays out, kind of spattering against you, Mercury. <laughs> Disgusting. Mercury, what in the hell? What? Where are you? I thought fighting was my thing. Step uh, forward to him, taking my, uh, taking one of my other knives that I have. Mm. Um, oh, and I, I say, you've done your job. Just rest and stab him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're um, taking the knife. That's a two d six flat for the knife. All right. Okay, eight damage. He's just gonna take it. Uh, Eleanor Rigby's gonna vanish. Um, and Eleanor Rigby's gonna reappear over here as this person. Alright. Uh, aiming the sniper rifle at your head. And Mackenzie's simply okay. going to duck. <laughs> Guess what? Okay. You hear that that activates my secret action! Oh, that activates oh my, my secret what? action too! <laughs> <laughs> if I hear the sniper rifle clicks, Prepare for where the bullet is, and make it so heavy that it falls to the ground instead. Uh, and you know what else happens at this moment? Okay! Uh, an instance of Crocodile Rock appears, and shoots through the water, creating a blinding bolt of light. Oh my god, you guys! You're amazing! <laughs> okay! <laughs> there was one still here, you didn't put them all away, it just zips by making a flash! Oh. Okay, yep. so first and foremost, we're gonna roll both of your secret actions at once. Both of them were decent. I'm gonna give you, yeah, let's say one of you roll 4d6 plus break. Oh, that was crap. That was real yeah. crap. I'm gonna use it as I can. Can I, uh, okay, you're gonna use it? Yeah, I'll, I'll use it. it. Does that re roll the entire thing? Or just yes, the, the whole thing. This is a joint secret action. <laughs> <laughs> this is a great joint secret action. Oh, it's oh, going Holy shit! What? <laughs> what? Holy fuck! Holy fuck! Oh, please! Oh, holy shit! Hell oh, oh, yeah! Oh. Mm. Alright, so... Oh. I'm gonna narrate this! As you fire! Uh, Crocodile Rock jumps by! The bullet is made... The, the bullet is made... Crocodile Rock jumps by! The bullet is made... Incredibly heavy! The flash causes Eleanor Rigby to fall back! It's arced upwards! It flies upwards! It becomes super heavy! And pierces through his head! Detonating it! <laughs> I take Whoa. the kni knife that I currently have in Mackenzie, force him to sit down, lean over and whisper into his ear, You've done your duty for your uh, lord. Rest and go see him. Oh. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> the stand slowly dissolves, and as it does, so do all of the people, and the rain ceases. Ash is gonna like, kinda 
carefully come out of the glass window. Just like, I'm so happy that that secret action went off. Guys, that was so good. <laughs> talk about a way to end I was not, I was not expecting that one. Out of all my secret actions, I was not expecting that to be the one that went off right there. <laughs> it was so that good. Was so beautiful. The escalation. He turned a sniper round into an artillery piece. Okay? <laughs> he did! God damn. It... Oh, oh man. Are you alright down there? Uh, I'm, I'm perfectly alright. It... It, it, hang on, give me a moment and I'll be down. Uh, let's see here. Fuck. He uh, just kind of sits on the edge of the freaking room. <laughs> oh god, what the hell just happened? Why did he burn whenever I bit him? That's never happened before. Hmm. Maybe he's allergic. And what was he on about? I... Okay, he was acting like he knew you or something. We okay, have. There seems to be more to you than meets the eye. We have a slight joint history. Do you have a? Does your stand have a secondary ability like mine? No, no, it's just the one. My stand disappears. Mercury, Wait. is there something about you you haven't told us? What? Who? Everyone has secrets that they'd rather not tell. Does this, could this secret result in any of us getting hurt? I don't believe so. Very well, Murphy, I'll trust you. Yeah, you saved my ass. And... <laughs> Honestly, I owe you, Merc. <laughs> I look down at Mackenzie. Can someone help me take his body out somewhere to bury him? I have... Yeah. I have a bit of respect for him. Yeah, let me just get down from here. Uh, could you help me with that real quick, please? <laughs> yeah, I... No, uh, no I... Do it! <laughs> I make, uh, can I... I, 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 make uh, I make Don't Stop Me Now appear behind him and make him light as a feather. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Mm. Just from over here. On. Can I piece anything together that just happened? Uh, would I have... <clears throat> Would I have any uh, knowledge about this, or at least be able to guess? I'm not really sure. You'd have to tell me what specifically you're guessing about, because I don't think you would. No. Okay. So you have anything specific, or just about, like, vampires existing? Nope. It was... Okay. Kind of. Cool. Mercury, <laughs> uh, slowly reports down to the ground, and uh, thank you. Uh, you... Bit him like I do, people. Uh... Hmm. I was inspired. I saw the wound there. Decided why not. Though, <laughs> I I take I take a piece of cloth and kind of wipe away. It tasted revolting. I'm gonna have to wash my mouth out for a week. Oh, uh, here. Sebastian pulls out a bit of mouthwash. One of the small travel to goes. Here, this might help a little. <laughs> he grabs it. Takes the whole thing and dumps it in. <laughs> Swishes it around. <laughs> takes, out, takes out one of his plastic bags, spits it in there, and then says, Where's a trash can? Uh, there was one in that room up there, actually. Hmm. I close it, <laughs> give it to my stand, and send it up there and put it in the garbage. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> yes, um, alright, you want to give him a proper burial, Mike? I'll help with that. No, there's no one else questioning the lack of anyone else around here. Does the sky begin to clear up at all? Yeah, the rainstorm is clearing away and it vanishes completely. If I had to make a guess, Jonah, he planned for this. He made sure that no one would be around and using his power made it where we would think there was people. Hmm. Who knows he how mentioned he brothers and having some kind of beef with me. I wonder if the stand user on the train was his brother or something. Mm. Mm. He, he was a very obviously religious man, so him saying yeah. brother doesn't exactly mean much. He actually said that he had beef with the Joe Stars and the Zeppelis. I have to think on this. There is one thing that comes to your mind. The incident in which your father, well, theoretically died, Sebastian. 
<laughs> a moment where jo uh, Jonah's father, Joachim Joestar, and Sebastian's father, Leonard Zeppeli, went on a mission, and only one of them came back. It was a uh, specifically weird case where something, they never really said what, happened on the Great Bridge of China. He's gonna push his glasses up to where they kind of like, the light reflects where you can't see his eyes. The cool anime thing. Of course. And uh, a few tears start to roll down his cheeks like, yes, it's a great day for rain, isn't it? Let's go bury this man. I, I, Are the questions? I pick him up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be dramatic and walk first. <laughs> okay. Being dramatic. Uh, of course. Just looking at Mackenzie's body. Are, can she, can Renegade see the burn marks? From um, Sebastian Bidow? As they're carrying him away? Yeah, probably. Can Re Renegade make a connection about that at all? No. See if it was the Haman? No? Okay, cool. No, probably not. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. You wanna, okay. That's a better question. I thought you were going to ask something else. Um, you could specifically wonder whether or not it um looks like a mon because it does look like a sunburn, just a really intense <laughs> one around Ooh. his neck. Um, however, his head got blown off, so it's more or less marred. Um, <clears throat> I, don't, I don't think you'd think anything of it. Uh, okay. <laughs> Sebastian, you've been carrying around this crocodile rock the whole time. Is that intentional? <laughs> Yeah, oh, yeah, and it's not—it's not just one of them. There's uh, actually eleven of them. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. Okay. That was for the secret action. I was gonna like, if Mercury looked like he was on the rope slash was like unconscious at any point, I was gonna slide down, jump on Mackenzie, and uh, zap, zap. Okay. Oh yeah, and now uh, I'm going to hang up the call. Yeah, uh, special hang up as well. Be like, uh, Bagulji, can I have him? Uh, could you take your crocodile back, please? Yeah, if you if uh, if you guys want to talk without Mercury for whatever reason, I don't know. He's walking ahead. I was literally about to make a phone call myself. Oh my oh god, my god. Guys. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Um, sorry, who's calling? Uh, me. Okay. I'm this, is, this, is, this isn't speaker. This is twenty minutes later. Yeah. Okay. What's going on? Oh my god! Never. Guess what just happened again? What you got attacked? No, I can totally guess it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, uh, stand users tend to attract other stand users. It's only expected at this point. See, so this guy's bothering me. He wasn't quite the average stand user. No? What was wrong about him? Some, something really, really, really weird happened when Sebastian used Daman on him. Oh yeah? Uh, can you can you please roll... Uh, I'm gonna go with brains for a luck check. Uh, just roll a d6 for a luck check because uh, there's something that could help you in this conversation. Okay, that's above a three. Uh, on the ground beneath you is the sunglasses he was wearing. Mm -hmm. They got blown off when his head was destroyed, but they're still there. Okay, picking them up. As I'm like talking, I'm gonna like bend down and pick these up. Mm. Well, we got his glasses though. Was he wearing Dream Tech goggles too? Are they? No. It would appear that this guy was simply acting on his own will. Well, they're goggles. They're not dream tech. Hmm. But he still attacked you. With a stand, nonetheless. Okay. Uh, did he give you any useful information? Nothing before he died. He seems to have some sort of hidden history, at least with, uh, Mercury. Hmm. What did he say? He was suggesting that he and Mercury came from a, uh, from a common place. Hmm. And Mercury... Mercury told him something about a Dark Lord. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Does Sounds it... like something Sebastian would say. No, it does, doesn't it? Um. Shit, is Jonah there? I can pass him over. That would be really helpful. I need to ask him a question. <clears throat> Jonah? Hello? Hi. Um. You did a background check on everyone, right? For the most part, yes. 
Is there anything odd about Mercury? So it's hard to find any information on him at all, to be honest. Mm -hmm. You'd probably find that I work at a morgue. I did work at a morgue, however. Okay. Something's also, not hitting me as right. Could you refer to me to a good t could you refer to me to a good tailor and a dry cleaner in the area? I, <sighs> I guess. I guess I'm gonna just suggest to it as a possibility. Did Mercury's hiding things? That much is clear. He confessed it to having a secret of his own. I did notice he and the enemy did bite each other. They bit each other? Were they were either of them under the influence of Dream at that point? No. Are you positive that Mercury isn't presently under the influence of Dream? Absolutely. And blood tests and everything? Okay. Right, well if he's clean, um Shit, I don't know. Doesn't sound normal. Um I'll keep your eyes on him. As well as apparently when Sebastian used some mon on the enemy, it burnt his neck. I can look into this, I guess. It sounds strange, but it could potentially have purpose. It sounds so much of a story my grandfather told me. Hmm. And Someone named Dio. The name Dio. I don't know. It just kind of gives me a chill down the spine. I look around. I uh, I assume there's a shovel somewhere. I Easily wipe it down it. extensively. <laughs> You're just gonna like break into this public graveyard and bury this guy. <laughs> no one's around. Fair point. I'm gonna do it at. Uh, oh, actually, it was raining for quite a while, so there's probably a an area where the dirt is soft. Totally, moist soil is real close by. Yeah, so I just find a secluded area, dig for a bit, wipe down myself extensively. Yeah. <laughs> As you wipe yourself down, hold on. As you wipe yourself down, the filth sort of sloths off. <laughs> Ugh. Disgusting. I set him down and I, uh, I cover him back up. I, uh, oh. <laughs> And I take something that I took from uh, from around him, a single rose, and stick it into the ground. Oh. And, and I say, hmm, may your lord have mercy on you. <laughs> well, look at that. I'm the last one. I walk and start to walk away. Here. I, I win. Duncan. <laughs> Duncan! Duncan! <laughs> I was just about to have his phone <laughs> ring, so his phone rings. Okay. All right, I pick it up. Hello. Uh, yeah, Duncan, you can act while he's talking on the phone. You come in and you see Mercury talking on the phone. Um. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna wait for him to finish up his call. I see Bagolji, right? I don't know. Bagolji, are you trying to be stealthy at all? Uh. Sure. Why not? Okay. Can we get a, um, right. uh, that would be, okay, Mercury was facing away, and Bagolji's coming in, so that would be a escalation. Oh, mm. Mercury does shit. spot him, it is up to Mercury whether or not he wants to make it clear that he has been spotted. Alright, I, uh, let's, I'm assuming Dream says something. No, you're being called, did you, did you pick it up? Yeah, I pick it up. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Hello, uh, Mr. Reddy? I, uh, I say into the uh, phone, Yes, Mother, I'm currently doing something with my colleagues. I can't exactly talk right now. I'll call you back tonight, okay? Oh, that's very acceptable, son. <laughs> he hangs up immediately. I, I close the phone and I set it, in, and I put it in my pocket. Fucking hell. Beautiful. My plan worked. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, of course he's gonna catch on. He's smart. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to move from grave to grave here. I, 
I wipe myself uh, down a bit more and I look down at the grave. Hmm. <clears throat> Trying to return. Okay, when I was looking away, I'm gonna approach. You hear him approaching. Yeah, I kind of look up and I turn around. Oh, Bagalji, you've arrived. <laughs> Hi, Mercury. Oh, hmm. We were just talking. You finished up here? Yes, I believe oh. I have. That's good. Hmm. I just wanted to tell you something. Yes? Oh, oh Sebastian's Pizza's here. <laughs> 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 I turn I turn around. I don't exactly have a taste for tomatoes, but mm, I oh, might everybody's eat. gonna be in lunch. Come along now. Let's see you finished up here. I do have some of my own food, yes. I take one look <laughs> I take one look back at the grave. Oh I love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait. I'd like to roll to see if I could find like some qu sort of plank that I could also put into the grave because I have something to write on it. Oh, okay, sure, totally. There's trees. Yeah. Okay. I uh, I make a makeshift cross. I don't like it. I hate crosses. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, you're a, you're an old time vampire, vampire thing. Dude. Actually, you know what? I'm before I make it into one. I'm going to write the message on it. And then put it on while it's already in, so I don't have to touch it much. That's beautiful. Uh, and as I walk away, the let's say the camera pans down to it, um, and all it says was uh, "atoned." <laughs> <laughs> Fucking beautiful. <laughs> <That's so funny. laughs> There's so many overlapping storylines in this. I it's... just love them. I just love oh, it's it. Real great. Uh... Moments later. Um, across town, the party reconvenes and takes a little bit of a short walk towards their actual destination. Battered and bruised, they manage to patch each other up decently well through the use of the tired, uh, yet still effective renegade, and, um, <laughs> poor Jonah goes off to fix his suit. But after everyone gets the immediate things they want done, they did all agree to go take one look at a convenience store. Oh, I missed the colors. <laughs> Welcome ah, back, color. color. The colors! Color! So now that Mr. Black and White is dead. <laughs> My suit looks good as new, by the way. <laughs> I carry a sewing kit. <laughs> Sebastian is, like, still slightly drying himself off from his few, like, things, and... Alright, that, that worked. I kept it in the baggie. It didn't... None of my suit cleaned. Uh, I hate getting this suit dirty. Mercury. Then why do you wear yeah. the suit? I wear it as a memory. Yes, yeah, Sebastian. Um, sorry about uh, everything and all that. Uh, he looked like he must have been a, a, a good friend at some point. I'm not going to say friend, but we do have... Mm, it's about the same relationship you would have with, say, an old high school peer. Uh... I kind of looks over at Renegade, mental sweat. Yes, I think I understand. We won't pry too much into it. I'm John not also be. standing in the middle of the street. <laughs> okay, I get it. You hang out with me all the time. You're being reckless, but stop standing in the middle of the street. <laughs> I was wondering awesome. if you would have it's, so, it's such a weird street. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you arrive in the parking lot of one known ground stop, a commonly seen uh, department store franchise. Uh, it, it, uh, I hear this is one of the biggest ground stops in the whole city. Yes, I've heard too. Uh, uh, I might have to stop by that uh, crap. Uh, because if you know any good uh, phone places, you know they've uh, got. Geez, look. Hey, can you send me the list? Do we call for me? Uh, for phone places? We had something for Radio Shack, I don't remember what it was. It was like, um, Stereo something, wasn't it? Uh, Stereo, st Hut? Stereo Hut? Let's call Stereo Hut, that works. <laughs> you can go to Stereo Hut. There's a door here, right? Yeah, right. yeah that's a door. 
I'm like, do you know what they have a somewhat good buy here? Or a, a, <laughs> or a decent shop? <laughs> I love the distance shop. <laughs> My God. They, they, they had a. Oh, I think there was a a B a B static. Oh, B static. Repair shop somewhere around here. Oh, heck! I could probably get them to fix the phone, yeah, but I'll have to also look into getting something else. Yeah. I wonder when Papa Pep is gonna show up. You already got your pizza. You already ate it. Yeah, we already ate. Oh. Sebastian, have you forgotten how to eat the pizza already? I, to be honest with you, my mind is a little bit all over the place right now. I. This you is need a con- coffee, mate. This is a convenience store, yeah. <laughs> it is a Walmart, <laughs> but it's called Walmart. Ground Stop. All right. <laughs> um, it would probably have a hygiene aisle. Yes. <laughs> yeah, totally. All right. Uh, I'm going- let's say it's that one. I'm going to be there. I'm going to go to the electronics to look for, uh, look for some motors. Like some simple motors. Let's see here. Yeah. Sebastian's like, eh, you know what, this is gonna be a big purchase. Grabs a buggy, starts pushing it. Let's see. I, uh, I head to the pharmaceutical section, and I, uh, look for more caffeine pills. Okay, Jonah. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, um, you're starting to feel really tired, actually. Probably from the blood loss. Yeah, it's getting worse. Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Uh, oh, Rodigate. You might give me a hand here. Uh, what you need? He's wobbling around really bizarrely. Uh, your renegade's gonna, like, gr- gently grab his shoulders, as gentle as renegade can be, um, <laughs> and just, like, try to steady him, or just be like, are you okay? You're, like... I'll be fine once I get some caffeine in me. He falls over and goes unconscious. Liar. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure he doesn't hit his head. Jonah? Jonah? Yeah? You wake back up here. But, uh, oh, no. you're tapping on a window somewhere. Seems to be coming from outside. Why am I here? Why are there- why are my roses all over the place? Why? It's coming from is outside. Is the enemy still alive? Uh, the window over here is actually fully patched up. You could not just simply walk through it. Huh. You hear yet again. Hello? It seems to be <laughs> inside the room up here. It's tapping We're on the window. Yeah. I walk over and I look at the window. Yeah, this, uh, we're gonna say this is the window on the first floor, because this is an identical floor. Just for simplicity's sake. Um, yeah, there's a figure on the other side of it, tapping on the window. My girl. <clears throat> Bad guys. Red, some... T- hmm. What can I do for you? I, I attempt to summon Rose of Sharon. You could summon Rose of Sharon, yes. I cracked the door. I cracked the window up open just a little bit. You cracked the open the window open just a little bit. Yes. As you do that, she slips in through the crack and stands there yes. facing you. All of you know that if you try anything, you'll have a fight on your hands. What do you need? We. Are not alone. You're I've trying that much. to ruin their happiness. Please leave. You're the enemy's stand, aren't you? 
Please. I will please. find out what happened to my mother. I'll leave once I know what happened to my mother and avenge her. Please do not hurt them. Please leave. Hurt who, by the way? Who's kind of stares at you. Who would you possibly be talking about? My companions that I'm traveling with? I'd never hurt them. Look, I don't know who you are. Well, I know who you are. You're not alone, I believe your name is. We are not alone. Yes, I've, got, I've gathered that much. You, you don't like to talk straight, do you? You are trying to take away their happiness. She I'm turns around, to people die unnecessary deaths. her head facing back over her shoulder, striking a pose. I don't want to have to hurt you. Please, Who's your... leave. Answer me one thing, not alone. If you're a stand, who's your stand user? Or at the very least, who are you talking about? She cocks her head. The people... are trying to what? take their happiness. Generate, I'd like to return to my friends. Will you promise me that you will leave? Leave what, Worf? I can't promise that. Very well. And Jonah, you go unconscious. Double unconscious. Double, Double unconscious, and we're gonna jump right back, uh... <laughs> Here! Jonah's unconscious in your arms, Renegade, and he is not moving. At all. In fact, you'd want to he... say that his heart has stopped. I walk over. Jonah. Can I check for a pulse? He's not breathing. <laughs> He's got no pulse. He isn't unconscious. <laughs> You're fairly certain he's, um, you know, there, there's multiple stages of dead. He's the first stage. Not the bad one where he's perma-dead, but he's certainly what you would consider medically dead right now. A gold chief? Can I borrow you? Yes, what's goodness, what's happening? Shock him. Yeah, buddy. Will do. Okay. I'm gonna like shock him for that rock. Okay. I'm going to need a... Uh, let's go against durability. Uh, so you can use your power versus durability. Uh, Renegade, what's wrong? Okay, you shock him, Oof. he doesn't respond. What, what are you guys doing? What happened? Did he pass out and hit his head or something? He didn't hit his head, I made sure of that. He fell unconscious in my arms, and now he's... dead. Ex okay, uh, Renegade? I'm going to need you to... use a mon on me a little bit. What do you need me to do? You know how you can sometimes heal? I, I could just try to heal him. Yes, but uh, Sebastian's going to try to slowly lift Jonah up a little bit to where his neck is visible. I want you to do it on me as I put my blood into him. I'm probably going to go uh, a little unconscious myself. Oh boy. <laughs> Let's see if we can't jumpstart his heart. Let's hope we can jumpstart his heart the old-fashioned way. <laughs> All oh, right, I. Okay. Sebastian's gonna take a bite into Shona's neck and uh, through the nose. Gonna try to use his power. Come on, Renegade, Come to on jumpstart the, the heart. Okay. okay. Come on, heart. Come on, heart. Roll three d six for Come on, heart. Come heart. Okay. Oh yeah. Escalation. Oh God. That worries me. Somebody wanna... Reroll that. No, stop. Okay. Don't reroll it. Oh. Don't waste your bizarre okay. point because he beat it by one. Oh, oh. Nice. hell yeah! His heart starts. He's still unconscious, but his heart starts. Stop, Sebastian. Yeah, uh, we should move in where there are people staring. Yeah, people Hi. staring. Hi. The is to start to look over. This guy peeking through the middle uh, of the shelves at you. I, guys. Uh, 
our friend fainted. We're we're dealing with it. We'll take him outside. He's breathing, alive, just fainted. Do you need any medical supplies? Yes. Most some, likely. Some uh, caffeine pills. Ca- 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 what? <laughs> if he doesn't have caff, if he doesn't have caffeine, he occasionally can have a heart failure. We need caffeine pills. Right. He should have some on him. Um. This guy he was looking for them. runs back into the back yeah. and goes to look for something. Momentarily, he comes back with caffeine and brings it over to you guys. I'm really not sure how this is supposed to help, but here. Thank you. Uh, you got this renegade. Yeah. Uh, what do you want me to do? Carry him? It's yes, that hard. Uh, it's a little hard. Sebastian's leaning on the uh, thing. Uh, Tally, I'm assuming that would probably take... That did take the twenty uh, percent of blood, probably. Yeah, but you're not gonna go unconscious because all you needed was the blood to control his heart. So you didn't actually need as much yeah. as you may be suggesting. You're you're okay, fine. Good. You're fine. Okay, good. Just a little lightheaded. That's why I don't uh, want to overexert right now. Okay, moving. Right he's just gonna pick him up and like, we're we're doing this. <laughs> this is this is what we're doing today. Yes. I'm gonna take him outside. I set down the hand wipes that I was holding. I'll come back for these later. Yeah, the guy just gives a dumbfounded look and watches as you walk out the fucking building. I'll be back as well. Oh god. Yes, I still need my hand wipes back. Five more. <laughs> I'm gonna get just gonna sit him up against the wall for a minute and just like look him over to see if there's anything visible wrong with him. Anything visibly wrong? Other than wrong? the bite in his neck. Not at yeah. all. In fact, he seems like he's in perfect condition. Okay. Strange. Uh, Hi. Yeah. Does it normally happen? A renegade, didn't you say that you met her in a dream? You Are you suggesting that not alone killed him? I don't know. He said that- Because I wouldn't mother... put it past her. He said- Okay, you wouldn't put it past her. All right. I'm gonna try something real quick. I'm not any Rose of Sharing, but I could try to extract any sort of, uh, you know. Toxins. Yeah. That might have a very detrimental effect on me, so. <laughs> you can make a brains roll. I, the best I could do is, uh, Bogoji, watch out for a second. <laughs> <clears throat> He's gonna try to take control of Jonah as best he can and just be like, Rose of Sharing! You cannot take control of him right now. I I don't. mm, Okay. Nope. This isn't working. (laughs) This is not working. Okay. If you're suggesting that this might be not alone, I have an idea. (laughs) Please! You're not suggesting giving him the drug, are you? No, I'm suggesting I take the drug. The renegade? That... But... That doesn't make any sense. But the renegade, then you would be without pain again. You didn't even know you had dislocated your hip. If I can contact her, maybe I can get her to let him go if it's her. Promise that if something goes wrong, you'll that just tell me if something goes wrong. I don't want to lose you too. You're not gonna lose me. Jesus Christ! You're no, you're being a little over dramatic here. <laughs> a man's heart just stopped in the middle of a store. Yeah. And I, I got think... shot five times by a sniper today. I used your blood to make a blood me. See, weirder things have, hap- have happened than a man's heart stopping in the middle of a convenience store. Alright, if you think <laughs> it'll work, I trust you, Renegade. It's, a, it's worth a try. Oh yeah, it's worth a try. God. What? <laughs> I love you guys. <laughs> I just want to say for the record that I don't think this will work at all, but... Hey, if it doesn't, you'll just have to deal with me being high again. Uh, yes. Fair. And a dead Jonah. He's not dead currently. His heart is starting. It's just he's unconscious. Fair. Uh, So I'm gonna... Jonah had the pill, which is why I went over to Jonah in the first place. I was gonna take it back. Yeah. Uh, Fun fact. Uh, So I'm gonna just take it from him. Are you going to take the pill? You hold in your hands a piece of dream. 
Oh. Renegade, you fall asleep. Before we cut, Mer Mercury says, oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Renegade, you're sitting in a fountain. Okay. Fountain. Not the worst thing in the world. Uh, get up. Uh, do I do I see not alone? <laughs> now you see her, all right. She's glowing with a white brilliance. Mm, okay, that's a little bright. Not alone. She turns over and looks at you. We are not alone. Are you? Yeah. In pain. No. Um. But. It seems like you've put my friends in pain. This is a friend? Yeah. What is yeah. a friend? It's someone who's rather nice to you and kind of likes your company. He's trying to take their happiness. I don't think that's his intention. He really doesn't mean to hurt anyone. You are not right. Most people are not right. There is not really any right or wrong, there is mostly gray. Why did you come here, Renegade Sticks? Many reasons. To test the theory. To get my friend back. She sits there with her eyes sort of vacant, stand-like, not blinking, not looking anywhere specifically, just floating in your direction. Legs crossed and arms to either side, just completely devoid of any particular motion. She seems to be thinking, if you have to give it a specific emotion. Will you let him go? I need promises. Promises of what? Protection. Protection for you? Slowly shakes her head. For their happiness? Not. I promise I will try my best to make sure that their happiness is intact. Then... I will take this... At this, she cocks her head and furrows her brow, as if trying to contemplate on the particular mechanisms or meaning of the language. Friend. Renegade, you wake up. Nice. <sighs> moment passes. Everyone's unconscious still. Renegade, wait a moment. Everyone else, if you want to react, this takes about a good minute. <laughs> Alright, so the, the, like I was saying, do any of you have a blarpy or something? I, I just want to draw a little mustache on him. A blarpy, really? A blarpy. Oh, I hear you. Um, well, I have... do you really think this is the time to joke around? Honestly, I need this. I need this right now. I have, I have notepads. It is, is it safe to actually, actually wait a second. I'll be right back. I walk in. What? I, I buy one. <laughs> And then I walk out and toss it to Sebastian. Thank you. Mercury! He <laughs> tells a quick mustache on Jonah. <laughs> that reaction! There we go. Oh, tosses it back to Mercury, thank you. I grab it. I wipe it down. Put it in my pocket. At this point, Renegade stirs. <laughs> I, I needed that, but Golden Chain, just give me that, this time. Also, you have to admit, mm. 
go eat the, have a cat. Oh, Renegade, you're okay. Mm, sleeping on concrete. Am I high? Nope. No? You're normal. Okay, good. Nice. Um, uh, how do you... And Chandacho Star very slowly starts to wake up. Got a splitting headache as, you know, uh, not having your heart running for a little while will give you a migraine. <clears throat> My freaking head. What careful, the... careful. It, how are you feeling? Well, it's safe to say that not alone's an enemy. Jonah, you have clutched no. in your hand a red pill with a star on it. What? The... Nice. So how do things go? Sorry, sorry, Probably sorry. Pink, animal. pink, 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 pink. They're pink, pink. purple-ish, not red. Sorry, Jonah, you have a <laughs> pink pill with a star on it in your head. Oh, and the other one was purple, right? They're the same color. I just misspoke okay. on the color. Gotcha. Uh -huh. All right, uh, have Jonah. one of the dream pills. Yeah. Uh, Jonah, here you go. Sebastian like holds over the uh, bottle of caffeine pills to the government side. I it's... I rip it out of your hand and like. Oh, okay. I down, immediately like, sit down like three of them. Yes. <laughs> oh, sweet relief. Careful, your heart did stop for a moment. <laughs> hey, Jonah, can you roll bronze for heart attack? <laughs> Oh, are you serious? Sebastian's blood is... is you can't so be serious. Heart, I just so. want to see if you fail. It'd be funny. That's true. Give yourself attack. another heart attack. Heart attack. Fine. Oh no. This helps oh. you. Oh. Jonah. Oh. What's up, Odegate? What did you say to her? Oh great, they I was right. warned me to leave. I thought I couldn't do that until I knew what happened. And she, she didn't what do you intend to do once we get the information from Dreamcore? Well, for the most part, prevent it from hap what happened before happening to anyone else, so they're doing anything shady, correct the problem. Do you intend to shut down Dreamcore? Dream technology is woven into everyone's lives too much for that. I wouldn't build I wouldn't care to do that all. Hmm. Making okay. it safer, yes. Destroying it, no. All right. Why do you ask? Because I went in there and saved you. She did. Took the dream pill, didn't you? Uh huh. Well, now I know what they do. <laughs> it's a great way to get in contact with her. Yeah. You know what? She said. Here. She said you were trying to take away their happiness. Yeah, she said that quite a few times. I don't. She would not answer me when I tried. I tried to figure out what the hell she meant, but she meant the people. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that uh, she considers the happy ones the people that we are freeing from, you know, being rampaging murderers. Yeah. So basically, the stand users. Yeah. Let me just check something here real quick. Sebastian's gonna pinch both Jonah and Renegade and twist. Ow! <laughs> Bitch! You're can I punch so Sebastian? <laughs> yes, you can! Wait, 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 wait! Can Renegade and I both punch him at the same time for a team attack? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Either side of the cheek, both of you at the same time. Big old meaty punch. <laughs> oh boy. What is that? Is it a Sebastian's bronze knocked out! <laughs> That's my stand. I don't care what you roll, you're knocked out, Sebastian. I'm not gonna do damage because we're not in combat. Combat? Uh, so... Combat? Sebastian. Combat? Shut up. Combat? <laughs> we're not in combat, so Sebastian's knocked out. Is this out. a combat? No, I, that was I look, too easy. I look over. Uh, hmm, so... I point back to the convenience store. I'm gonna go buy my stuff now. <laughs> I'm gonna go buy a Everything marker. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I'm just I'm just here with my, my face money and I'll just... Mm. I walk minutes. inside. A minute later? Okay. Oh yeah, I Wait, do moved. I see the I have moved Sebastian on Jonah's face? Of course you see the so most. Oh, everyone the does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, everyone sees this. I'm assuming no one pointed it out in the store. Uh, no. And at this point, um, someone gets out of their car and just comes by, it's like... Snorts looking af over at you, assuming you're homeless. <laughs> I, 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 I draw a mustache, giant eyebrows, and a goatee. Yep. Um, yes, even it is. I'm, I'm, I'm going to hand Jonah a tissue. You got something on your face. What? Oh. 
Don't tell me he did to me what I just did to him. <laughs> <laughs> Can you so both look at each other? Wakes up. <laughs> Oh, 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 yep. All right. Hey, so you both feel pain. That's great. Rubs his face. Uh, <laughs> why is my face a little moist? I think Smears. I did yours better. I'm glad you have the respect to not do that to me because you know I would kick your ass. Kick my ass? We'd break my legs. <laughs> your hands. Oh God, not the hands. You two are quite a relationship. <laughs> Yeah, see, I did it once, and she made it look like an accident whenever the door slammed on my hand. I, I wish her the best is here. Are you two like a couple or something? Because you find like an old married couple. <laughs> Who did you whisper that to? You. <laughs> Make him slap himself. <laughs> Make him hey, slap himself. Hey, hey, Jonah. Hi. What's that over there? Takes control of Jonah. Hey, Renegade. Hold your hand out like this. Makes him run into her fist, and as he walks into the store... Ah! <laughs> 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 can't believe he fell for that old trick. Keep <sighs> taking control of my body. I can't believe you still do that after I blood I lost earlier. Takes control again. <laughs> You're lucky! I gave you more! You're welcome! <laughs> Absolute. <sighs> I don't even know who's talking for who anymore. Yeah, this is all very don't confusing. Worry, love, you. Hey, at least you know who I am. Hi, oh. Renegade. I don't get controlled. Shutters. If I tried to do that, Welcome? Oh, she kill me. <laughs> <laughs> this guy over on the aisle who I previously assumed you were homeless just got it. That was a way. <laughs> I make eye contact. Oh, okay. Let's see. Oh, uh, Mercury, I kind of owe you uh, some gloves and stuff, so uh, if you need any cleaning supplies for keeping yourself clean, uh, it's on me. <laughs> I'm suddenly very hungry. <laughs> Again? Okay, you walk oh. into this you shop. You lost a lot of blood today um, and then had a heart attack. This is, uh, this is Wendigo's. Eat flesh. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <coughs> Renegades! <laughs> Mercury takes out a piece of jer uh, a piece of jerky that he just has and takes a bite. I prefer my food. Give me the biggest sandwich you've got. <laughs> aye, aye, sir. He goes to work. <laughs> We've unknowingly surrounded this guy. <laughs> He's really, really cornered. Is there anything special you need, uh, Mercury? Hmm, not particularly. Alright, uh, let's see. Uh, more gloves, some wet wipes, uh, one mouthwash. Oh yes, actually, I would love some mouthwash. I need to start carrying that around. <laughs> oh yes, I'm these go <laughs> are amazing. I'm, I'm gonna come up here and be like, Aha! That's what I was looking for! You hear like a <laughs> like shit just falls off in a spiral on top of the guy on the shelf. <laughs> a pack of uh, disposable miniature motors. <laughs> this will work nicely. Bagolji, while you're over there, can you grab me some of those mini Bluetooth? Uh, I'm sorry, green tooth speakers. <laughs> ah, this is for the idea you had earlier. Yes. I think Reggie's just gonna lean to Sebastian. I think. Golchi's having some fun. I do too, and I like it. Here's your, uh, here's, here's your, uh, sandwich, sir. One mountain of meat, 24 pounds of meat. He hands you oh <laughs> like God. a garbage bag full of meat. It's too much meat. Beautiful. Thank you very much. I'm very hungry. The garbage bag's oh, edible, by the way. Uh, he's like 4,000 yen. Certainly. <laughs> Thank you, suit person. <laughs> By the way, I don't think it, do you know what he told me? Who? It's a, a Jonah. What? You probably want to punch him for this, but uh, he asked anyway. Closer, if we were a couple.
Oh, this is a funny thing I just came up with. I'm looking through the aisles, find a small little hand mirror, look in it, don't see my reflection, quickly closes it, <laughs> and walks away. Oh, uh, Mercury, you didn't say what uh, kind you wanted. Do you want the winter green, uh, cool wind? Uh, I think what? there's... Oh, weird. There's a tomato flavor. That's weird. Mm, I'll have winter green, thanks. All right. <laughs> I uh, I look. I pick up. A, I pick up some gloves. Hmm. Yes, this will do nicely. This brand is far better than one that I had a few years ago. Oh, is that better than this one? I was going with the cheaper. Uh, what's that brand? Oh, it's uh. I don't know brands of hand things. Turn Hanes into pains. <laughs> <laughs> or Gains. Oh. Gains gloves. <laughs> Games. Yeah. Oh, and I, I look over. Hmm. Let's see. Ooh. Yes. Some Swindex. Oh. <laughs> I like to keep my area clean. Yes, it's actually very nice. <laughs> which which brand? What type of Swindex are you using? Are you using the liquid spray or the gel spray? L I tend to use liquid spray. I'm not a fan of the gel. Ah, oh, well, the gel is very nice if you... Mercury, if you, you smell in. meat and grease. <laughs> I, I, I smell... I recoil. <laughs> I grab a bottle off the shelf. Mercury, what are your thoughts on the breeze? <laughs> it's... I plug my nose. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Renegade, who just has, is, is like leaning back, has her eyes closed, leans over to Sebastian. Did Jonah just walk up with fucking Wendigos? Yes, yes he did. I love how I can tell with you my eyes closed. Yes, I mean it's got a really peculiar scent. I think he got the 25 meat special. It would be a shame if he tripped and fell. The 25 meat special <laughs> includes ostrich meat, gator meat, cow, chicken, all types of poultry from across the planet, and horse meat, you think? Yeah. There's also like, this one mystery meat in there that no one ever knows what it is. And some people even speculate that it might actually be human flesh. And I'm. I, Mer right Mercury, with, at the mention of that, takes out his jerky. Hmm. Takes a bite. That's ridiculous. Who'd eat that? Puts it back in. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I sit down and I dig into this thing, being careful not to get any of my suit. I think Jonah would, honestly. I mean... Oh no, what's going to pretty crazy people, I'm sure that someone would eat human meat. True, if there's somebody like me that's a vampire, there's probably someone who's a wendigo. I'd love to punch them in the face. I feel like that would be a lot of fun. That would be really interesting. Like, you could probably punch them so hard- Fist to cuffs a wendigo! <laughs> you know, maybe someone will have a stand that's got like a Wendigo uh, ability or something. Excuse me, Renegade, I need to go to the next aisle. Yeah. Uh, huh. By the way, does anyone want any snacks for the go on the train? Uh, I'm all good. I'll just talk about mythical creatures. It makes me think why well, the evil ones are, have such an aversion to sunlight. With well, my godly fair. speed, I absolutely annihilate the sandwich. <laughs> Uh, I mean, not all. We can call it a sandwich. You guys have got yeah. about thirty minutes until the train is scheduled to leave, and it was about a ten-minute okay. walk away, so you could probably spend a little bit more time here, but not much. Uh, Mer Mercury says, "Well, I have what I needed. I'm gonna head out to the train." Oh yeah, just toss it to the buggy. Notion to you that if anyone else wanted to get lunch, there's a restaurant at the bottom of the menu or the, of the map. In case you didn't see that. What kind of restaurant? Oh, um, hey, restaurant. well, I'll tell you, Mercury, when you come out, if you want to look at this restaurant down here. Um, I step out and I, I look over. <clears throat> well, it's, um... Why do I see cornucopias? Oh, okay, well, this used to be an enchilada tuba, but it's been taken over by the more popular restaurant franchise, Churro Chime. Take a bite of my jerky. I look at it. What would I do without you? <laughs> <laughs> I, I look. I look for one of those. You know those big bags that have all the bunch of uh, snack bags in it. Yeah. I buy one of those. Okay. 
Oh, uh. I'm trying to get with like this snack. Oops, excuse me, Jonah. I I, I asked. I also uh buy a, a tube of a uh, bite to go. Sure. Uh, <laughs> oh, so you took uh, up my my little thing about keeping those little uh, sticks. Yeah. Good. After what happened just now, I assumed that would be uh, a good idea. Oh, I bought yeah. some snacks, by the way. You probably should get the four pack, knowing your suit. Shit, shit, you're right. I I grabbed two four packs. <laughs> yeah, that's probably a better thing. Hey, it's Jonah. Uh, I'd like to request a uh, private car. Leaving uh, wharf. You have that information yes. that a private car will be ready for you on your return. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Bye. I have to go with you, since we can't okay, really... Mr. Oh, oh sorry. sweet! Thank you, Jonah! Uh, but, but Golgi, since we can't really stop by that uh, place, do you think you could... Uh, he holds out the broken phone. Do you think you could take a look at this? You seem like the technical sort. Hey, we still got a bit of a train ride to go through. Yeah. You know, Sebastian, I just had some Wendigos, and now I'm feeling quite shaky. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> oh, don't start. Do I even want to know? I got the 25 meat special. Hmm. They, just... they tell you what 24 of them are, but they don't tell you what that 25th one is. Yeah, they, they uh, you know, it's just so people would stop rumors about it. Yeah. <laughs> just... Come on, let's get to the train. I. Uh... <clears throat> Sometime or, or later. Mercury is very. Very scrunched up in the corner. This is a very tight space. Yeah. I've got the TV yeah. on and the a loud phone. <laughs> uh, this is a little cramped. Uh, uh. <laughs> so. Still feeling kind of shaky, right? But I should be fine. That's what uh, you get when you die. God damn uh, it. I suppose so. Okay, that's it. Uh, too many fish in a barrel. Uh, I'm gonna go for a walk. <laughs> <laughs> nice. God damn it. <laughs> that was the dumbest shit ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I mean, it, it, it's real hard to beat last time, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. Yeah, I'm gonna this extend gonna this a little one. bit. Over the whole screen. Yeah. So, anywho! <laughs> Fantastic, Not everybody! Yeah. Not yeah. Not that one's great. I'll, I'll be honest, so, that one was my favorite so far. I wanna nominate yeah. Mercury? <laughs> Definitely agree. <laughs> Absolutely. Fisty <laughs> cuffed yeah. fucking. Your God duel damn. with Mackenzie <laughs> is gonna go down as the best twist event I've ever <laughs> had in any DD. So, all right, all right. It was so damn good. I thought that was going to be a let's find the user type deal, and it sort of was. But I was hoping you guys would, like, be moving around. You didn't. But the way you made it happen was still so believable and fantastic and incredible and just the duel. I I won't lie. The, that whole, like, secret action idea I had, the only reason I got that was mainly because of, like, the recent episodes of JoJo's I've been watching. Yeah, Richard, I am absolutely going to nominate you for that really like, clever that's usage of... Oh, yes, yeah. that too. That's that's yeah, I want to nominate... I also want to nominate Richard for that, too. God damn, dude. Like, I just appear behind him. What? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that part was just... <laughs> Wow. <laughs> we figured them out. Because, okay, 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 like, it would have been just kind of mediocre, but you set it up ahead of time. You specifically did the blood clone. I didn't know why you did the blood clone, but you did it. Yeah. Yeah. Because, like, I was like, okay, if, if, like, somebody tries anything, like, they're not going to realize unless, fuck. No, no, yeah, fuck. So much stuff going on behind the scenes, guys! I'm yeah, loving it! Yeah, Richard, yeah, Richard, Richard, that double team of you jumping out, oh, out the window with a freaking rose shotgun. <laughs> that, was good. that was really good, yeah. That was really good. Fucking. Okay, uh, so clearly. Golgi over here is saving, like, the day with getting the bizarre field down. Like, fucking. How many times did you freaking get stuff right, Duncan? Ah, uh, shit, I forgot. Yeah, Duncan MVP of that. 
Duncan's crocodile like, rock just going everywhere was real fascinating, but I don't think that's yeah, a that point was... worthy. It was still cool. Was I so had a plan for it if you were going to be using that dust cloud more. I was figuring that if we get enough dust, we can cover the entire area in dust. He wouldn't be able to see us, but we'd be able to hear him. Yeah, like that was one thing I started to have, but then like... I just, it just happening. didn't logically make any sense. So I couldn't yeah. follow your right, thought right. process. Can I get a point for Rose Shotgun? <laughs> no, but you can get a point for the fucking torrent of roses as soon as he left the window. Yeah, that, that was, was so yeah. good. Good lord. Like, like, whenever he started punching the ground, I was like, okay, there's two ways this can go. Either I can fight him again, fucking attempt to fight him again, and try to keep him here until the others get here, or hopefully he'll fucking like, do something with those roses and yell at me to jump out the window. <laughs> the moment he freaking, like, said the phone thing, I was just like, Yes. Oh. Yeah, I said you a secret action, you were just like, oh, hell yes. Yeah. Like, Sebastian, no! Yeah, Sebastian and I just double teamed the hell out of him. So. All y'all just fucking killed it. It's incredible. Like, incredible. And then fucking Renegade over here keeping us healthy, making sure, like, not. Renegade of us. literally not being oh, able to do anything other shape. than get shot and heal people. Day. Yeah, like <laughs> I'm going to nominate Renegade for being shot five times in Renegade. <laughs> 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 like, I was gonna say, Renegade was essentially one, the reason I was able to make the blood cone, because I asked, if you recall, hey, hey how much blood was there? And you just like a lot. I was like, perfect. Okay. And then the fucking Okay, so um G with our pain. Also Renegade is Renegade single handedly saved Jonah, basically. Renegade yeah. and Jonah. Can I... Oh my god. Both of god. them get one for that. That was great. Uh, yeah. So, in the end, we're gonna have three for Jonah, three for Mercury, nice. two for Sebastian, two for Renegade, two for Bogolchi. So, three, so three, so adding three. Shit, I got, I'm at four. I'm one away. Nice. 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 Fuck it. Nice. Five. So good. What a session, uh, everybody. Can I can I tell you about one of the secret actions I prepared for him? Please. I, I need yes, to know. Please. I was figuring that uh, Eleanor Rigby would be water-based, mm -hmm. and that she would actually try to suffocate somebody. And I had a secret action prepared where if that were to happen, I would have 3D printed a massive sponge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the exact word- the, the wording was, uh, if it attempts to, uh, to suffocate Renegade or Jonah, <laughs> 3D print big sponge. Okay, um, yeah. uh, uh, that's amazing. Well, I want to well, post artwork. Uh, no. fuck. Oh hell yeah! yeah. yeah. So, so let's start with Paul said... McKenzie because here he is. Here's the fucker. Yeah, yes. again. Yeah, yeah, before Sebastian uh, told me to, to summon mm -hmm. Rose, what well, my secret action is I had placed, I had summoned a rose and placed it in my in my uh, suit pocket. Yeah. But if, some, if, if, the, if the standard directly attacked me, I was going to have uh, Rosa Sharon manifest and counter the attack. Okay. Next nice. up. Eleanor Rigby, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Has anyone seen the Yellow Submarine by chance? Do you know what the fuck I was yeah. referencing? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> cool, cool. Yeah. Uh, uh, let's get the other two who were just introduced. Uh, oh yeah. Good friends yeah, over at Speedwagon right. Foundation. Um, I can't believe that he calls the one girl who probably has a crush on him a child. Edwin, Edwin Speedwagon. Oh yeah. Aw, yes. oh, the man. Yes. Oh, you got you, you got you got you got the. Oh, you died. You yes, yes. You did Speedwagon justice. Uh, and so then we're good. gonna go. That, here's oh my files. Yeah, that's good. My files too powerful. Give me a moment. Oh, <laughs> it's oh, Dennis. No. It's oh, Dennis all over again. It's but, Dennis. Uh, what are these? What are the secret actions I had set up with that dust cloud? Was like Maybe if somebody dated that they were getting, like, they heard it again, so they screamed out like we said before. I was gonna use the dust cloud to try to push them ever so slightly. Okay, so because it but was no. wet, the dust cloud was so pathetic, I didn't think anything good was gonna come out of it, and I was right. <laughs> yeah, no one said anything, so I was just like, Here's okay. Mercedes. And, and then she, okay, she said it's gone. Mercedes Fuck. Speedwagon. I love the I hat. I love her. There she be. <laughs> she, she has the hat. She has the hey, hat. Isn't the hat... From Zeppelin, technically? It is originally yeah, that, that from is Zeppelin, the... yes. Beat you to it. Oh, did she get that hat from where I thought it came from? <laughs> you timed that Timing. with roundabout. Yep. <laughs> to be <Yep>. continued, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> to be continued. 
Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to move us back to the title card, and as you'll see yeah. next time... Part 4, Dream Corp. Part 4, Dream, Dream Corp! Corp. Damn. God damn! I still can't. Can I just say how I love Renegade? Is low intelligence to hell, but like high wisdom is just like you're wrangling yeah. this 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 crazy stand that you don't know what to do with, and I love it. <laughs> yeah, that's so good. <laughs>